Warren, the team, Ben may not be here tonight, but he gave us his scouting report earlier today. He talked about how Warren loves the quick pass game, get the quarterback comfortable, get the ball out in space to their athletes. Segwaying off of that, we're going to talk about our isolated player of the game tonight, coming back from a multiple-week injury, but one that is just so huge for us yes. in the way he plays linebacker. Tonight's senior, or tonight's not senior, but isolated player of the game is going to be junior number 11, Romir Bennett. Boy, we have missed Bennett in the middle. Uh, he, he plays that Mike linebacker, then he'll they can move him out to the wheel, but he's just such a dominating fa factor on the inside. And we've seen the coaches send uh, Jay, uh, excuse me, Dupree in, and a lot of that is going into those situations where Rom uh, Romero was. Yeah. And so tonight, and, and Coach told me this, said, you know, look for Vinny to play some defense. You put Dupree and you put uh, Bennett out there. Yeah. And, and, you know, you're talking two big-time linebackers, and we're going to need them. I was watching – what Ben said, I was watching uh, the Lumberjacks warm up, and, uh, yeah, 14 – he was, he was doing the warm-ups and extremely accurate. Yeah. yeah, I didn't see him throw anything real, real deep. But, <clears throat> boy, I'm telling you what, he is leading the kids. And he stands back there with a confidence. And, and, and that comes from being a lumberjack. That comes from winning. And uh, he's going to be a factor. And Coach Plummer said, we got to get him down. This kid yeah. can run, too. Well, you know, it's one of those deals where at this point in the season, you're going to give it your best shot no matter what. And, you know, if that means – Putting Vinny on defense, letting Dupree get a few more snaps at a linebacker, then you're going to throw out your best lineup because this is win or go home. This is, you know, we're playing next week or yep. we head off to basketball or off-season baseball or soccer or whatever what, it may be. Yeah. This is this is for it all. This is what it's all about. Yeah, uh, this is the night you want to play to get into December. And yeah. everybody, you know, everybody loves to, to have breakfast and everything on Thanksgiving or whatever. The big thing is to get to December because if we get to December, you know you're in the semis or possibly going to War Memorial, and, and that's the goal for this bunch. That is. Warren won the toss, elected to receive. Malver will be kicking from left to right on uh, your tablet, television, radio, whatever it is you may be listening. Warren going to be going from right to left as the Leopards will have the option in the second half. Um, what they want to do, we know they'll receive. But, you know, that's, you're just getting technical there, Ron. <laughs> they do have the option, as you say. Yeah, and and, you know, and another thing we're adjusting, you know, I'm going to say this, with Ben here, you know, you just kind of, you kind of, some of these hesitations we make, it's like we're waiting on Ben to say something and, and to fill some dead air. So hey, we've done this, this before. <laughs> this isn't yes, the this, first time hey, you we, and I we have, have We have done this. We'll get back in the groove and uh, – uh, yeah, we've done it more, gosh, more, more, more one I'm, or two years, I didn't was, we? <laughs> I mean, I, I was thinking about it. Dad's yes. been doing stats since, geez, Jay, before Jace was playing. Yeah. Ron, you've been doing this for I don't know how long. Heck, I've been doing this for dang near a decade <laughs> yeah. now. This it's, I started in 2000. This is 22. Yeah, 22 years. Well, I took a two or three years off there. But yeah, well, there you that. go. <laughs> but anyway, I enjoy a lot. it. A lot, a lot, a lot. Seen a lot. And this is, we, like... Last time we hit, we were here, you were playing, and I was sitting up here. Uh, this is a new st new facility to what we were in. We were down in an old one, but anyway, we're here, yep. and uh, it, it's we're 20 seconds away from getting out on the goal, getting out uh, on the 40-yard line, kicking this thing off. I was right there in the conversation. Dalton Holman told Coach Fogelman, I can beat this guy. <laughs> and yeah, we went to the line with the, the understanding, loose coverage, it was going to be a slant tight coverage it was going to be a fade and they played just in the middle enough where there was confusion where Dalton ran the slant Warford threw the fade and the leopard season ended on yeah. an interception in the end zone yeah. yeah tonight we hope to write a new story as Angel Perez comes out to kick the ball off for the leopards looks like back deep to receive will be Neandre Thomas and I believe that might be 12. Yeah, and I don't I don't have a 12. No, I don't have a 12. Number 12 for Warren. Boy, I tell you what, he's a specimen. He looks like he's about a 6'2", 6'3", kid up around the 200-pound range. Perez has it teed up. We are ready for quarterfinal action. Showtime. Here we go. High kick angled toward the right sideline, going to bounce and go out of bounds. 
First flag of the night, Lumberjacks will take over at the 35-yard line. Yeah, this is one of those situations that, uh, and, and Coach Plumley talked about it. That first three to five minutes, three to four minutes of any ball game is very important on setting the tone of what either the lum Lumberjacks can and will do or what the Leopards can stop and they can do. And it's, uh, it's, it's in, you know, the Leopards have been so resilient, though, about time and time again, answering and answering, and we're going to have to answer some tonight. Yeah. Oh, no doubt. This is... <laughs> This is, has all the makings of being a very offensive game. First and 10 from the 35 yard line, trips left, back to the left of Lassiter. Lassiter takes the snap, give is to the back off the right wow. side. He's gonna be met in the backfield and dropped for a loss. That was Traylon Jackson on the carry for Warren. Boy, I tell you what, I'm Gonna be tough running tonight. Looked like starting, starting, <laughs> leading that bunch. Leonard Leach was in there. Uh, Davian and, Jenkins. And, and Davian Jenkins, that day, and uh, of course, any time they go out on that side, you got a Keir Smith out there too. So that left side, defensive side of the Leopards is pretty tough. Makes it second and 11 from the 34. Trips left, split right, up back going to be off the left side. Lasseter takes the snap looking to run. He's up over the 40, yeah. falls forward just short of the line to gain, I believe. Going to bring up a third and one. Yeah, from the 44. Lasseter did just a little bit of de delay there and uh, did a really good job of, of waiting for his blockers to seal and uh, had just enough room for there to get that big body through there. Big third down here for the Leopards. Third and one, man split to each side. Lassender give up the middle. Jackson, he's going to have just enough. Well, ball might have come out. They're going to, looks like they're going to rule him down. Ball came out late. Leopards got it. Near turnover there for the Leopards. Turns into a first down for the Lumberjacks. First and 10 from the 46. Lumberjack, we it's kind of running to the script we thought it was going to be. They haven't thrown that uh, any though any any passes yet, but uh, they're what lining up out here like like that can any time. We'll see. Trips left, twins right. Laster alone in the backfield. Now bring a man in motion. Here's the snap. Laster looking to run. Now bounces out to the right. Has some room. He's going to pick up another first down as he gets down to the 41 yard line. First and 10 for the Lumberjacks. Well, <clears throat> that's a case right there, and, and you, if you're watching it, of what Coach Plumley said about 14. I mean, this kid is big, he's strong, uh, he's a senior, and uh, he'll duck that head and hit you. I don't have a size on him, but he looks to be what, 6'3? He looks high. big. Yeah, he's just big, big legged kid, too. Give to Jackson. Cuts it up. Got a little bit of room here. Tyler Golden going to meet him right at the line to gain from the initial spot. Looks like they may be giving him a first down. They do. First and 10 for the Lumberjacks. Yeah, it's one of those things that uh, <clears throat> it's, it's going to be like a heavyweight fight back and forth. And, and the, the Lumberjacks are doing a really, really good job of feeling in, seeing what they can and can't do against the Leopards. And then the Leopards, you know, there's nobody just like the Leopard coaches right now, so we'll be okay. First and 10 from the 31-yard line. Man split to each side. Lasseter takes the snap, give is to Jackson off the right side. Now cuts it up. Going to be brought down after a short gain of two down to the 29-yard line. Yeah, a really nice job of sealing there. And uh, Angel Perez came up from his, from, uh, looks like they got him as a safety, don't they? Look like at the at the free safety. Oh yeah, Perez. Yeah, Perez. And anyway, he was up there on, on the stop. Got Barber, Hutch, and Ramir Bennett Boy, right now at linebacker. Yeah. Second and eight for the Lumberjacks. Laster takes the snap, There's looking to throw. Looking for the intended target number two. Don't have a name for him. Just outside of his reach, incomplete. Yeah, there's a couple kids out there, a couple of really big kids, number two and number 12, that we do not have a, have a name for, but we'll, we'll try to pick one up here at halftime or something. But uh, they're on the field a lot, and looks like they're going to be involved a lot in both offensively and defensively. There's number 12 coming back out there now. Brings up a big third and eight from the 29-yard line. Going to be trips left, twins right, Laster alone in the backfield. Laster takes the snap, looking Plenty to throw. Wow. Crossing route complete, up over the 20. 
Going to step out of bounds at the 16-yard line. First down, Lumberjacks. Yeah, that's the big kid, uh, number two, and we don't have a name for him, but uh, – He's, he's a big target. He looks to be in the six, two and a half, six, three, maybe six, four era. Big, tall kid. A lot of these kids I saw at the uh, James King seven on seven this summer. And uh, boy, they're an athletic looking bunch. And they're, they're a bunch of big kids, tall, lanky kids, muscled up kids too. We're gonna call it first and 10 <clears throat> from the 15 yard line. Twins right. Lester takes the snap, fakes the give, going to keep it himself. Not a lot there. He's going to be dropped by a host of leopards in the backfield, going to lose a yard there. Yeah, <clears throat> getting in there, leading that. Superdeuce number two, we've slipped uh, Jalen Dupree in there. At uh, Looks like, is he the, I can't tell if he's a Mike. Yeah, the Mike linebacker now. And you, you, with him and, uh, and Perez and Bennett in there, you've got to feel pretty good about it. That defense, Seth. I think Bennett's still the mic. Is still the mic? Okay, yep. Going to be second and 11. Man split to each side. Jackson to the right of Laster. We'll Laster looking to throw. Out route complete. Going to have enough for the first down as he's bumped out of <clears> bounds <throat> right at the four-yard line. They did a really good job, Ben, of dragging uh, number 20 or is that 31? I can't tell which one it was. Anyway, and I don't have a 30. It was, it was Rivera. Okay, I don't have number a 30. 18. Okay, anyway, did a good job of running off the linebackers and then and then running him, dragging him out to the right. And uh, Dupree had the sp speed to get out there and stop him. Lassiter looking to run up the middle. Spins off a man, dies for the goal line. That's Looks close. like they're going to mark him just short at the one-yard line, bring up second and goal. Looked like he was stuffed around the three and then just kind of <clears throat> spun off of a tackler and dove for the end zone there. Boy, he's just a big, strong kid. 7.47 here in the first quarter. If you just joined us, zero to zero, but uh, Lumberjacks are threatening. Lassiter, quarterback sneak all the way, dives, and he will go up over the pile and into the end zone. Touchdown, Lumberjacks. That was really a nice, nice long drive by the Lumberjacks, mixing in the pass and the run, and uh, then throwing Maddox Lassiter at you, 14 at you, Maddox Lassiter, Maddox Lassiter. It seems like he may be there, Jalen Dupree. When they need something, they, they're going to give it to 14. He's going to he don't carry the load if he can. He looked more like their K.J. Jefferson. Yeah. <laughs> Jacinto yeah. on yeah. to attempt the extra point for the Lumberjacks. Good hole, good kick. It is good. 7.35 left here in the first quarter. Lumberjacks lead this one 7 nothing. We'll be back after this. Teal Dentistry is a proud supporter of Malvern Athletics. Doctors Jesse and Matt Teal provide a full family dentistry service. From checkups to cleanings to dentures, Teal Dentistry loves working with patients of all ages and strives to make every smile bright. Stop by and meet the friendly staff at Teal Dentistry and let them brighten your smile. Teal Dentistry, 927 South Main Street in Malvern or call for an appointment 501-337-9559. Welcome you back here to Warren, Arkansas. Lumberjacks take the opening drive down the field and into the end zone off the shoulders of quarterback Maddox Lassender. Two big powerful runs gets him into the end zone. Last one going up and over the pile. Yeah, he's just, <clears throat> and uh, I, I know I've said it before, but Coach Plumley said, you know, we've got to stop 14. And uh, maybe you can't stop him. Maybe we can just slow him down a little bit. And uh, it's time to see, watch it. See if Leopards can answer. Jacinto, squib kick, going to be fielded by Perez at the 33-yard line. He's up over the 30, going to fall over the tw or 35 to around the 37-yard <laughs> line. Leopards will take over from there. It'll be interesting because uh, I don't know what it is, but Coach Plumley told me that we're going to have, have some new wrinkles tonight, and uh, so we don't know what uh, him, and, him and Lance worked out or, or something, but I don't – It'll be basically the same thing, but I think we're going to do something a little different. The older and older I get, the more new wrinkles I find. 
<laughs> going to be first and ten for the Leopards from the 37-yard line. Too you, young to make that comment. You ain't seen nothing yet, yeah. Junior. Twins right, split left for the Leopards. Here's a snap give to Dupree, looking to run up the middle. Falls through the pile up over the 40. <clears throat> Didn't get a very favorable spot. They're going to mark him right at the 40. Yeah, Jalen just was really patient, waiting on something to open up, and uh, had enough in through there that uh, he did get uh, pick up three. They've got him split out left now. Yep, twins to each side, up back off the right side. Simmons alone now going to bring Dupree back in motion to his left. Takes the snap, fake the give to Dupree. Will be Simmons looking to run. Spins off the first man, now trying to get out of the way of the lineman. Going to be near the line to gain. See where he stepped out. Yeah, I'll see what the dip. See what say the spot first down. is. They're going to say first down. <clears throat> Seth did a really good job there of waiting and weaving, and uh, we're clear across the field from him. But uh, he had a seam through there. He got through, didn't he, Seth? He ran right into uh, one of his <laughs> linemen, trying to. <laughs> Turn him around, get him to just keep, keep balking forward, give him more of a lead back there. <laughs> Is going to be first and 10 from the 47. Trips right, twins left. Simmons alone in the backfield. Takes the snap looking to throw out to Dupree. Nice block out there by, I believe that was Junell. As man just barely stepped out of bounds, almost <clears throat> took it to the house as Jalen Dupree. Yeah, just barely got knocked out. I tell you this one thing that, that – Janelle, watch number five. I mean, I mean, he's easy to see out there, but he's such a weapon, and he's a devastating blocker. Yeah. I mean, he is a devastating blocker. Plus, we showed us last week and before, he can catch passes. And, and oh, last week was, of thing. it was his coming out party yeah. last week. He had the game of the year. Hopefully tops it tonight. Going to be second and one for the Leopards from the 44-yard line. Trips right, split left. Simmons takes a snap give to Dupree up the middle. Not a lot there, but he spins off of a guy, lunges forward. Didn't get a very favorable spot. Thought he might have lunged forward near the line of the game, but they're going to call him just right back at the line of scrimmage. What time you have? Number 58, Bryson Harris for the Lumberjacks. Met him right in the hole. I would have liked to have seen that, though. Look at me like he stayed off of the ground and dove forward, extending yeah. the ball at the line to gain. Yeah. No go from the uh, official on the Leopard sideline. Going to be third and one, still from the 44. Twins right. Simmons looking to run. He's going to be met in the backfield. He lost the ball. Going to be picked up by the Leopards and going to have a first down. Yes, that's uh, that's – Vinny that's, Winters. That's the old Vinny Winters trick play. They go out there and they lay it on the ground. And <laughs> that looked like uh, William the Refrigerator Perry right there. Great heads up play. Said gotten a little bit of a jam out there, and he's behind the line of scrimmage. They knocked the ball loose. Heads up by Vinny. Picked the ball up and advanced it to uh, make a first and ten. Vinny going to get the, uh, the carry on the stat sheet tonight. <laughs> yes, he is. Trips right, twins left. First and 10 from the 41 yard line. Simmons takes the snap, looking to throw. Now flush from the pocket, rolling right. Trying to keep his eyes downfield. Let's one oh loose my. to Caradine, who's open, and he's got, he it. got it. No, he said he dropped it. Ooh. Ooh. Looked like he had it, had, had gotten behind everybody. Simmons just trying to yeah. plant his feet and get that one off, knowing Caradine's down there. Caradine, yeah, like you said, he was he was open and uh, had got behind him and said was under a lot of pressure though. Oh, he was. He was, he was. and he really coming to his right like that really showed his arm strength by you know throwing the, throwing the ball thirty almost forty yards so on the run sort of. Caradine turned into a jump ball situation yeah. and so we've seen so many times him come down with it. Here's the snap. Simmons looking to oh, run wow. off the left side. He's going to get down near the 35-yard line. Boy, another devastating block by uh, Jalen Dupree out there on that corner. It's really fun for me to watch Jalen and uh, Janelle to watch those guys block. And yeah. I know the kids talking to me. They love it. I mean, they really love handing out pancakes block, pancake blocks. Going to bring up a third and five from the 36. 4.55 left in this one. Leopards trail 7 nothing. Trips right, twins left. Simmons takes the snap looking to throw. Got his man out there as Caradine. They do have a flag. Yeah, I think you're right. 
may be <clears throat> and one thing I didn't mention, and if you notice, uh, Lassiter, the big quarterback, is he he plays he plays a linebacker, and he's on the field most of the time for the Lumberjacks. And you know, you don't see that very often there on a five-yard route, an offensive pass interference. That there's no kind of rubber pick play. I guess they're going to say that Janelle was blocking early. But that's uh that's one of those that's left up to interpretation. What if yeah. he's running a five yard stick and just goes into the guy? Yeah. Yeah. Leopards don't get the benefit of the call. And that's a that really is that that's a costly, costly penalty, costly call there. And uh, takes a first and ten, ten away from you and puts you way behind the way behind the sticks on I don't know about that call. Yeah, going to be a third and 20 all the way back to the 49. Trips right, twins left. Simmons takes a snap looking to throw flushed early. Going to have to take off. He's going to step out of bounds right around the 45-yard line, and it's going to be fourth and long. Yeah, that was one of the things. One thing that the, you know, the Leopards definitely <clears throat> didn't need, didn't need a, a penalty like that. And, uh one thing is fourth so down four looks like about fourth and 13 12 13 and uh with simmons you never know he's our punter but he's also the quarterback and i think uh, coach plumley's trying to decide what he wants to do and it <clears throat> looks like he's sending on the kicking team kick well, it wouldn't, wouldn't shock me if this is going to be a timeout here we've only got five on the play clock they probably want to delay a game backing up five more yards flag does fly Going to be a delay of game on the Leopards. I really, I'm not so sure that, that may be the first series in a ball game that the Leopards hadn't scored on. The first drive. First drive. Yeah, first, first, drive. first possession. This is the first time the Leopards all year long have that we have not scored on. I thought yet. It, I purposely did not say I, it. I did too. I, I kept my mouth shut about it because no I was afraid I'd jinx them. Yep. Simmons back to punt for the Leopards. Good snap, kick is away. Number two for Warren. Oh, it takes a huge Malvern bounce and through the end zone. That thing landed about the 10 yard line and shot forward. That uh, had some top spin on that it. That did have some top spin on it. 421 left here in the first quarter and the uh, Leopards just had, the, had got stopped by uh, the penalty. Uh, by a penalty, by a very costly penalty on a what did they end up calling that? They called it offensive pass offensive interference. Offensive pass, pass interference. And uh, uh, anyway, and it really it, it negated a first and ten. And uh, with the 15 yards and everything, you know, it, it, it stopped them. Stopped what was being a really good uh, series for the Leopards. Lester looking to air it out over the head of everybody. Uh-oh. <clears throat> Thomas, the intended target down. for the Lumberjacks. Must have had some kind of yeah. some kind of connection there. Thomas down for a second. Thankful he's up and going to come off of the ball game. Yeah. Going to bring up second and 10 from the 20 yard line. I don't think even had if he would have stayed on his feet, he would have caught up to no, that one. No, I don't one, think. Huh? No, no. The, uh, and, uh, that one was thrown. Man, yeah, Lasseter really aired that one out. Trips right for the Lumberjacks. Fakes the give to the back. Lasseter looking to set up a screen. Oh, Ball's oh. up in the air, and Hutchinson oh. wow. looked like he had a beat on. He's clapping. He's, if, he, <laughs> if he'd have caught it just a second earlier, he yeah. might be stepping into the end zone right there. Hutch would have been gone. Boy, I tell you what, we just can't say enough about this freshman. Tunnel screen incomplete. Bring up a big third and 10 from the 20 yard line. 409 left here in the first quarter. Lumberjacks trying to add to their 7 0 lead. They're going to come to the line. Trips right, twins left. Lasseter takes the snap looking to throw. Seam route across the middle, middle going to be incomplete through the hands of Jackson. <clears throat> yeah. Tell you what, Laster, he, he, threw a, he threw a fastball across there and just out in front of the uh, – yeah. So that brings up a big big fourth and ten, and uh, <clears throat> it looks like Laster's also the punter. 
carry down, going to drop back to receive for the Leopards. Big stop for the Leopard defense there, kind of get things, you know, and you know the defensive coaches over there, you know, that brain thrust, they did a lot of talking when, our, when we were on offense, our defensive kids, watch this, watch this, watch this, here we go. Lasseter's punt is away. Wow. Good punt. Going to land at the 40-yard line. Just get out of the way. Yeah. Warren going to down it at the 42. That was one of those Malvern's coverage teams running down there trying to set up blocks, and it takes a backward <laughs> bounce. You're just hoping and praying it doesn't hit anybody in a white jersey. Yeah, it was a lot of hang time on that one, and uh, not only there was a, gave the uh, Lumberjacks plenty of time to get down there in the coverage, and like you said, it was like – the sandwich with a lot of spin on it. That yeah. ball went up and uh, st went straight up and died. Second offensive series for the Leopards here now. <clears throat> Going to be first and 10 from the 42. Twins left, split right. Janelle going to be the up back on the left side. Dupree going to be to the left of Simmons. High oh. snap. Simmons takes it. Option look. Now he's just going to try to get what he can, and it's not much. He's going to be yeah, dropped we had for a loss a, of five. That was strange, Ron. Yeah, we had a we had a miss we had a miscommunication there on something because uh, Seth definitely wasn't ready for the for the ball, and uh, he, he he did when he went to his left, as you can see it. He did a good job of not trying to do something that wasn't there because I think it was a, it was an option play with. Uh, uh, Dupree out there, but he just went ahead and ate it, took the four-yard loss, and uh, come back to, to uh, fight again. Makes it second, 14. <clears throat> trips right, twins left. Simmons takes the snap looking to throw. Out to Carradine, complete. Going to be pushed out of bounds near the line to gain. And he said right. They're, They're going to be marking it, it right, on, right on the line. Call it whoa, first whoa, down. We have a, hey, that's be the must have a flag on uh, Warren here. Whoa. Sideline warning, and that thing – Dang near uh, touched the moon, Ron. Yeah, I mean, that was one of those that uh, held. I mean, there wasn't any doubt about that one. <laughs> that flag flew high. We're up at a pretty good distance. I think it came yeah, high level with me. Yes, I mean, there was no doubt. I mean, it came out quick and it shot up fast. Going to bring up a first and 10 for the Leopards from the 48-yard line. Trips right, split left. Going to motion Dupree back into the backfield to the right of Simmons. Here's the snap give to Dupree. There's a hole. Room to run. Going to pick up, looks like six or seven on first down. Yeah, nice job over there by the running behind uh, that our offensive line. And uh, Jack Bullholtz and that crew over there did a good job. And, and the, the crease that Dupree needs, just, just give him that priest. And all of a sudden, he's got six, seven yards. Yep. It's going to be a second and four from the 42-yard <laughs> line. Twins right, split left. Here's the snap. Give to Dupree again up the middle. Pushes the pile forward up over the 40, down to the 39. He'll be a yard short of the first down. Yeah, it, uh, <clears throat> I know you've been watching this and, or listening to us. The Lumberjacks have decided, looks to me, kind of like uh, Lamar did last week, uh, they're not going to let two beat him. Yeah. Uh, you're not going to stop him. He's going to get his 100 or 100 or whatever, 150. But uh, they're just trying to negate that, getting him through there and getting him getting in, into the backfield and running. So big third down here. We're probably in four down territory anyway, don't you think, Seth? I would imagine. <clears throat> third and one from the 39-yard line and sprint out trips to the right. Pitch out to Dupree off the right side. Going to have enough for the first down and more. Makes a man miss, spins off of another one over the 30-yard line down to the 29. First down, Malvern. Yeah, and we've seen so much of that. Jalen just goes out there, takes his time, and uh, finds a hole and, and uh, makes a move and, and picks up an extra three or four yards. He's just, he's just so crafty at that. 140 left here in the first quarter. Leopards trailing seven to nothing, but driving. First and 10 from the 29-yard line. Twins to the left. Janelle going to be the up back off the left as well. Give to Dupree again up the middle. Pushes the pile forward. Now trying to bounce it outside. And nice play made there by Boy, Bryson you know. Harris. Or else Dupree might still be running. Yes. He really did because uh, he was floating on that outside. And uh, Bryson Harris, number 58 for the Lumberjacks, just got a hold of him enough to uh, keep him from uh, getting to the outside. 
Going to make it second and seven from the 27-yard line, or 26-yard line, my apologies. Twins to the left. Janelle going to be the up back on the left. Dupree looks like the up back on the right. Now bring him in motion. Malvern going to lose five here. Yeah. So we're having some issues with the snap right now. Yep. Just not on the same page. Well, with the uh, with you know with the experience and leadership we've got at center and in the backfield, that should be a pretty easy quick quick fix, and and I'm sure that the coaches will. Don't know what's happening up there, but but something's throwing them off just a little bit. Makes it second and twelve from the thirty-one. Here's the snap, fakes the give uh -oh. to Dupree. Now looking to throw, got Cagle and bounces through his hands. Mm. I think that was the footsteps of the guy coming across there. Took his eyes off the ball a little yeah. bit too quickly. Yeah, hit Cagle right in the numbers and uh, uh, brings up a big third. And I'm going to call that third and, third and 12, it's, third yeah. down 11 and a half. And yeah, it's 12. Third and but 12. you have to figure out, you know, we're probably setting up a two-play series here. Quite honestly, four down territory. Ball on the 31 yard line. Simmons Get part takes of the snap, now. rolling to his left. Looking to uncork one, looking for Cagle. Gonna overthrow him, incomplete. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> I'm not so sure that uh, Sed saw the coverage there and may have thrown that one away. I mean, he's, he's, he, I mean, he way, 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 way over through that and in through the, in through the back of the end zone. So I think it either had to be that or it had to be the pocket shot. Yeah. It looked like a kind of a cover two shell right there. Yeah. He Could had the man over the top, top on that wheel route. But again, said trying to throw rolling to his left, not an easy task to do. Going to bring up fourth and 12 from the 31 yard line. Trips left. Simmons takes the snap, looking to throw again. Throwing it up for Carradine oh, and through his hands. Through his hands. Had a chance at it. Would have been six, Ooh. but instead it's a turnover on downs. And that's mm. a couple that Carradine has un been able to bring in mm. right there at the goal line. Could have been huge plays for the Leopards. Yeah, that was a, that was that was a big series right there for for the Leopards and for the Lumberjacks to come out and uh, stop the Leopards. That's, uh, that's one that's unfortunately, mm -hmm. Caradine's behind everybody, but yeah. it's thrown at a level that you think it's going to get tipped. And then when it doesn't, it yeah. kind of surprises Probably. you a little bit. I know he wants that one back. We'll be first and 10 for the Lumberjacks from the 31-yard line. Man split to each side. Laster takes the snap, give his to Jackson. Looking to run. Not a whole lot, but actually going to be able to fall forward and pick up three. Look like maybe one turned into three quickly, three well, or that, four. That'll do it for the first quarter here in uh, Warren. L Lumberjacks lead the Leopards seven to nothing. We'll be back after these messages. Encore Healthcare and Rehabilitation is here for you. Whether illness or injury sideline you, Encore will tailor a rehabilitation program for your needs. Meet Helen Haley, one of our rehab residents. And what'd you come to Encore for? Because I couldn't walk. How's your experience been here? On it's, been, it's been good. They, everybody's good. Everybody treats me good. They feel good. It's just, it's just been, it's been wonderful. Encore Healthcare and Rehabilitation and the Malvern Leopards, a winning combination. Welcome you back here to Warren. Start of the second quarter. Leopards trailing in this one, seven to nothing. Warren forces a turnover on downs, facing a second and six as we begin to start the second quarter. As we are waiting for first two, first quarter, really each team got two positions. Going to be second and six from the 35-yard line. Tight twins to the left and right. Uh, Going to be a reverse. reverse pitch here. Yeah. He's got some room to run. That's number 12. Caradine going to bring him down as he crosses the 50 mm. down to the 47-yard line. First down, Lumberjacks. Yeah, that looked a little bit, that looks familiar. It looks a little bit, a little bit but what uh, Lamar did to us in the first half last week. Coming across there, everybody going. We're so aggressive. Get everybody going to the right, then they slip him back into to their right, to our left, and, and uh, he had some room to go. First and 10 from the 47-yard line. 
Twins left, split right, up back off the right side. Jackson to the right of Lassender. We've got a jet sweep here, nicely read by the Leopards, but unable to bring him down in the backfield. Akir Smith was all over it. Had a couple of them back there. Our ISO player, Ramon Ramirez. Ramirez. <laughs> Ramirez. Ramirez actually was at, got a shot across there and, and it turned him into help. And uh, anyway, held him to two and a half, three yards. Yep, second and seven. Twins left, split right up back off the left side. Going to bring the man in motion again. This time fake the, the jet guy. sweep and will be Lassender on the carry. And he's going to be run out of bounds right at the 35-yard line. Should have enough for the first down for the Lumberjacks. Yeah, there was a <clears throat> pretty good seal block out here on the uh, on uh, the right side for the Lumberjacks and for the left side for the Leopards that, that got him out there. And uh, I'll call it a seal block, okay? There you go. Just don't honk at me. <laughs> first and 10 from the 35. Twins right, split left. Lasseter takes the snap give to Jackson up the middle. Ramir Bennett going to stop him after a gain of about three. My point on that last play, Bennett would have probably called that a hold. That's why I called it a seal. Oh, there you go. Okay. All right. <laughs> you think he's at home throwing something out <laughs> he now? Might have, he might have thrown something at the TV. <laughs> Don't, uh, he's screaming. He's holding him. He's holding him. Learn from the Kansas City Chiefs. <laughs> Don't break the TV. Don't break the TV. Twins left, right. split right. Second and seven. Give, no fakes to give. Laster now looking to throw. Wow. to step up and take off. Gets over the 30 down to the 29. Nice play by Angel Perez and I believe a Davian Jenkins yeah. who's slow to get up for the yeah. Leopards. We got a Leopard down. Laster pulled it down. He What what he was after wasn't there. So Rolling Laster's around a Davian Jenkins. Yeah. yeah. Tell you what, we don't uh, – We really, really don't need to lose to lose eight day because well, we'll uh, we'll take a break yeah, from yeah. hear from our sponsors right. as they tend to a Davian. Welcome, Welcome to Larry's. <laughs> hey guys, my name is Garrett. I've been coming to Larry's Pizza here in Malvern ever since it opened. My favorite is baked potato, chicken honey mustard. I love it. Come on down to Larry's. It's so good you don't even know. <laughs> Larry's Pizza has buffet Tuesday and Friday nights starting at 5 p.m. Call us here at Larry's Pizza for all your specialty and game day pizza needs. We want the Malvern Leopards to have a successful football season. Go Leopards! Welcome you back here to Warren. A Davey unable to get up and get off the field under his own power. It's good to see him jump up after they, they tended to him a little bit and uh, maybe cleared his head a little bit and jumped up and jogged off. Big third down here for the Leopards. It is a third and four, 29-yard line for the Lumberjacks. Twins left, split right. Lasseter tries to get the Leopards to jump. No go. Jackson to his left. Ooh, oh, they got yeah. movement. Yeah. Up back right there, that was Rivera. Jumped a little bit too soon, going to cost the Lumberjacks five yards. <clears throat> we had to figure... Knowing Coach Hembury Bow the way, way we do it, uh, they're in four down territory anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Probably so. <laughs> I bet. Gonna be third and nine from the 34. Twins left, split right. Here's the snap. Lassiter looking to throw. Throws out to Jackson. Ramir Bennett gonna push him out of bounds at the 31 yard line. Gonna bring up a fourth and about six, I believe. Yeah, it's a big series here for the Leopards to. Uh, Get the ball back and, and stop the Lumberjacks on on this series and get the, get get our offense back out there and uh, see what happens here. We got to watch 14. I hope you're uh, telling the future. Trips left, split right. Laster takes the snap, looking to throw Jackson through his dropping. hands, incomplete. Would have had enough for a first down, possible touchdown. Yeah, that's a couple times that Laster. I mean that. Uh, He's hit him last or hit, hit his receivers in the hands, and uh, they haven't been able to hold on to him. But uh, nonetheless, 9.35 left here in the first half, and uh, uh, Leopard still trail us in seven to nothing, but uh, have yeah. held the Lumberjacks on downs and uh, have the ball. Really, that's the story, Ron. Two, two yeah. big balls go through the hands of Jackson. Two big balls have gone through mm -hmm. the hands of Carradine. We, we were talking through the break. This this could be 14 to seven. Leopards up. 
I think yep. one yard was the difference in the total yardage in the first Look half. That. I mean, this is an evenly played game. It's 7 nothing right now yeah. as the Leopard defense holds. First and 10 from the 31-yard line. Simmons takes the snap give to Dupree. Not a lot there. He's going to be dropped behind the line. A loss of two or three there on first down. Once again, really nice penetration uh, for the Jacks there, but uh, number 58, that's Bryson Harris, and uh, they've got that kid li listed as a sophomore. <laughs> he's a sophomore, junior, whatever. He's a dandy. Big kid. Going to make it second and 13 for the Leopards. Ball back to the 28-yard line. Twins right, split left. Actually, trips right, split left. Dupree to the right of Simmons. Mm. Takes the snap, Simmons looking to throw out to Janelle, complete. He's gonna get back up over the 30 to 31, make it about a third and nine here for the Leopards. Yeah, the uh, the Lumberjacks are putting a lot of pressure on the Leopards here and at, at the line of scrimmage and uh, slowing down that uh, high powered running game. And um, to a certain degree, they're daring the Leopards to throw it. And I don't know that, uh, you know, how that's gonna work out for them. Uh, Simmons had a big game last week. Trips left, twins right. Third and nine from the 32-yard line. Simmons takes the snap looking to throw out towards Caradine. Ooh. Little low, unable to bring it in, makes it fourth and nine. Yeah, that was uh, that one looked like it might have been short arm just a little bit. He was wide open and uh, said just couldn't get it to him. Yeah, that would... Uh, that would have been a big time catch by Caradine if he'd have been able to pick that Go down one up. Get the that. It'd been one of those like that uh, Janelle had to pick up last week, um, you know, one of the shoestrings off of the turf. Yep. Number two back to receive for the Lumberjacks. Simmons back to punt for the Leopards. Simmons' punt is away. Spiral lands at the 35. Going to be fielded at the 30. He's wrapped up and dropped, and we have a flag <laughs> around the 38-yard line. Well, they're going to give him the 40. That's a favorable spot there. Might be backing up anyway, holding on the Lumberjacks. <clears throat> he uh, he was hit at the 40, but spun off, off of a guy and, and then and, uh, it hit again at the 38. That was very favorable to give him the 40 to begin with. Lumberjack fans, not, 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 not real happy with that not, call. Not crazy about that one. Going to make it first and 10 from the 30 after the penalty. 8.01 left here in the second quarter. Lumberjacks leading it 7 to nothing. Lumberjacks going to come to the line. Trips to the left, split right. Jackson to the right of Lassender. Lassner takes the snap, looking to throw. Looking for a wheel route, going to be tipped at the line, incomplete. Looking for Jackson again. Really, it was well covered. You had really Car Caradine and Hutch out there on him. <laughs> could, very well could have been an interception had it not been tipped. This is this ball game's really kind of developing like I thought it would be. It's it's just going to be a like a heavyweight fight. I mean, give is to Jackson off the left side. He makes a man miss. Really thought he's going to be dropped in the backfield. Going to turn it into a gain of turn it into a one yard, two yard gain. They're going to give him two maybe. Doing a nice job of running through tackles. Leopard's got to sure that up. We'll call it third and eight. Third and eight. Going to be a short eight. Trips right, twins left. Laster alone in the backfield. He can run. He's looking to throw, though. Got a man, man out there. Dropped. Oh, my. Man, hit him dead in the number wow. and just dropped gosh. it. Gosh. That was Neandre Thomas, I believe. Yeah, gosh. Well, I'll tell you what. That's the th third time the Lumberjacks have been hit in the hand or in the numbers and uh, dropped the ball. And I mean, he, he's putting it right on the number. He drilled that number he, four yes, up there. Yes, he did. There. Yeah, that was a fast, and you know, you know, high fastball right into the numbers. But uh, yes, kid's got a good arm. So Lester will drop back to punt for the Lumberjacks. Carry down back deep to receive for the Leopards. 
Snap is away. Punt is away. Going to bounce out of bounds as it crosses the 30, probably around the 29-yard line will be my guess. Wow. Wow. What? what? Well, that was favorable there. Yeah, it was. Not, did not see that, but Leopards get the benefit of that spot. I do have to uh, compliment the Warren Lumberjacks for their facilities here. The, the, the field's great. The uh, – the multicolored turf. The multicolored turf is striped. I know you can see that on your TV. <laughs> nice bunch of Leopard fans over there, and it's a, and a good bunch of Lumberjack fans right down here below us. Question in the call a while ago, weren't they? <laughs> <laughs> Dupree motions Love into it. the backfield, fakes the give to him. Simmons looking to run. Got some room. He's up over the 45. Dropped as he crosses the 50. First down, Malvern. Nice run by Simmons. Yeah, you know, <clears throat> I know you repeat and repeat, I do, but you know, that's what you know, that's that two headed monster I like to speak. You know, you've just got to watch Dupree, you've got to watch Sed, and uh, you pay too much attention to Jalen, and all of a sudden, Sed can do that. And uh, I expect to see more of that as we go through. Trips left, split right. Janelle going to be the up back on the left side. First and 10 from the 47-yard line. Now going to shift Dupree in motion, and we're going to have a false start on the Leopards. Malvern just. Who I didn't see. Was I didn't, that I didn't see Lyman? who it was either. <clears throat> I didn't either. either I, but it, that's, just, I, that's the third or fourth of those tonight, just killing ourselves. Dupree was in motion, but he was definitely not going toward the line of scrimmage, so I don't know. It had to be on an, an interior lineman, I guess. Got to sure that up. Just yeah. five yards is costing us every single drive, it seems like. And five yards against these guys, against this defense, can really hurt you. First and 15 now. Twins left, split right. High snap, but Simmons fields it. Dupree lowers his shoulder, booms over guy. That looked like a face mask, and, and face the flag mask, does yeah. fly. <clears throat> looked like as he was going down, uh, they got his face mask and helped Jalen a little bit closer to the turf. And that should be a first down now for the Leopards. First of all, Jalen did an excellent job of getting through there to, to yes, get that did. deep into the backfield to, to have him have to grab a face mask. Really hard run. But we've – Come to, come to expect that. You know, it's, I guess we're spoiled. That's going to bring the ball all the way down to the 27 or 26 yard line. Be first and 10 from there for the Leopards. We got right at six minutes left here in the second quarter, and still seven to zero. The uh, Warren Lumberjacks, but the Leopards are threatening at the 25. Going to bring Dupree in motion back to the right of Simmons. Here's the snap give to Dupree. Now going to cut it back, get up the middle, fall forward for a gain of three or four there on first. Yeah, Jalen turned a bad situation that, you know, that could quite easily have been a loss for three or four into at least a I positive yard. Two, yeah. I thought oh. he got at least Ooh, three. I did too. Yeah, and if you can hear in the background, we, we do have some referees in the stands here below us. <laughs> but it's like Malvern. We've got them there, too. So. Oh, that's, a, that's the nature of a that's high school That's the nature of a high school right football there. game. Again, we love it. Second and eight, trips right, split left. Now going to bring Dupree in motion. Simmons takes the snap, looking to throw there. slant route. Got Martin. He's at the 10, trying to get across the field, unable to. Going to be thrown down. Yeah, I had to ask a while ago. I, I, He's been in and out and everything, and I asked Seth, I said, have we seen Emart yet? He said, oh, yeah, he's been out there and uh, really made it, made his presence known there. Hit the open spot, said hit him, and uh, got us a big first and ten. And we can actually uh, get a first and first and worst. Yeah, we can go first and go to the one, so we're. It is a first and ten from the 11-yard line. Let's call it first and 11 from a touchdown. How's that? Sure, that's what you want to go with. <laughs> I'll go with that. Simmons splits out <clears throat> to the left, Dupree at quarterback. Dupree takes the snap, looking to run. Cuts back, hop, hops over a man down <laughs> over to the five-yard line. We saw the hurdle. <laughs> I don't know. I, yeah, too bad we don't have re – I don't know whether he hurdled or just ran, ran across his back. Oh, anyway, I think he jumped. Dumped, yeah. Big, big first down, though. It uh, – it, it, it just opens the playbook a little bit when you've got second and four instead of. Uh... It is second and four. Simmons back at quarterback. Simmons, though, I mean, Dupree in front of him. 
Dupree shifts out of the way. Simmons takes the snap. Looking to run off the right side. Not a lot there. He may lose a yard. Yeah. Oh, they're going to say he lost two. I, it wouldn't surprise me to see a little uh, a little bit of uh, putting Simmons in motion on this play or something, giving him some room. And uh, i tell you what, Ron, I, I, it's not often you have a great play at loss of two and you're yelling, <laughs> come on, ref, from the field. Like, yeah. what, did, what did you want? <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking that's the same ideal. Thing. That's ideal, yeah. For you. You lose two yards and screaming at the ref about something. <laughs> Looks like Malvin's going to run this clock down, use their first timeout of the half. Going to take it right around 3.30 left here in the second quarter, trailing 7 nothing, facing a third and six from the seven when we come back. From birthdays and weddings to special events, Curiosity's Corner offers a wide selection of customized baked goods and crafts. We are a proud supporter of the Malvern Leopards and Malvern Lady Leopards. Be sure to check us out on Facebook and Instagram. We'd love to make your special occasions even sweeter. Welcome you back here to Warren. Huge third and six from the seven yard line. Malvern comes to the line with twins to each side. Janelle gonna be the up back on the left side. Simmons takes the snap, looking to throw. Now going to tuck it under it. Man, there is nothing there. Yeah. Dropped in the backfield again. That was the situation there. And, and uh, said was looking for something. And uh, if he'd have turned right instead of – it's easy for us to see up there. If he'd have turned right instead of turned left, he might have had a little room. I don't think he would have could have scored. But uh, nonetheless, big fourth down here for the Leopards. Going to now make it fourth and nine. All the way back from the eight-yard line. Twins to each side for the Leopards to pre to the right of Simmons. Here's the snap. Simmons looking to throw a nice block by Dupree. Pass is going to be intercepted. He's up over the 20. Yeah. Going to be brought down around the 24-yard line. Had a free blitzer come up. Dupree did a nice job of picking him up. Simmons just trying to make something happen on fourth down. Yeah. Intercepted. Yeah, I just uh, had to do something in, and a uh, nice play, and it's kind of surprised me there that the Lumberjack did bring it out out of the end zone, but uh, he was yeah. bound and determined. And then, like you said, and Dupree came across and, and stopped him. Dang. Lumberjacks stopped the Leopards, 2.36 left here in the first half and uh, still lead this one seven to nothing. <laughs> first and 10 from the 24 yard line, tight trips or tight twins on each side, my apologies. Lester looking to throw, now gonna step up in the pocket, takes off. He's gonna be brought down as he crosses the 30, brought down to the 31 yard line. Nice coverage there by the Leopards. Everybody had them covered. Uh, uh, Apparently 32 yard line. Didn't see that one. Trips right, twins left. Lester gonna be alone in the backfield. Second and two from the 32. Man in motion, Lester gonna run all the way here. Met at the line, but is able to bounce out it looks like, and he's still running. Yeah, it's one just thing. running through tackles. This pile is still moving. So he's gonna be run out of bounds just shy of the 50. That looked like it was gonna be right near the line to gain and just kept pushing. Yeah, that's one of those things that uh, Coach Plumley and I talked about this morning at the coaches show and everything. This is a kid, big, strong kid, big, strong kid that we, we've just, and he said it's gonna be imperative that we get him down. And uh, with 154 left here in the uh, first half. Uh, that was a uh, 2 204 before Thanksgiving dinner yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Trips right, twins left. Looked like early movement there. Not going to be called. Ball going to go incomplete, thrown short of the intended target. Bring up second and 10 from the 47. Looked to me like the slot receiver jumped just a little bit quick, but not enough to be called. Not enough to be called. Harding Academy. Gonna be trips right, split left, up back, gonna be off the right side. 
Lester takes the snap, now looking to run. Off the left side, got a little bit of room. He's going to have a first down as he steps out around the 40-yard line. Yeah, we're going to have to make some halftime adjustments on that kid. I don't know exactly what they're going to be. I'm, I'm not the off defensive coordinator, but I tell you what, they'll come up with something. First and 44, I mean, sorry, 144 left here in the uh, <laughs> first half. First and 10 from the 40 yard line. Warren winning or leading this one seven to nothing. They do have all three timeouts to work with as they try to add to their lead. Gonna come to the line, trips right, twins left. Laster alone in the backfield, takes the snap looking to throw. Now stepping up in the pocket, keeps his eyes downfield, hits his intended target right around the 20 yard line. Yeah, that one, that one he hit him in the numbers and uh, 23 for the lower Jay, Jacks. Jalen uh, Lee. Jay, Jay, Lee, senior wide, wide out. Uh, he held on to that one. We'll make it first and 10 from the 20. Trips to the left, twins right, Laster alone in the backfield. Takes the snap looking to throw out to his target. Got him complete right at the 10 yard line. Number two gonna be dropped right there at the 10. I believe it is enough for the first down. Gonna be a first and goal situation. Uh, yes. Uh, I believe they, Coach they Plum. Must, they got gonna say, somebody took a time out. Yeah. Coach Plumley comes running down the field, takes his second time out of the half. We'll be back after this. Welcome you back to Warren. First and goal from the 10 yard line. Laster fakes the give, gonna take it himself. Maybe picks up a yard there, not a lot on first down run. No, not, not a lot. Uh, uh, he was at hitting and I don't know who our 57 is. I believe that was 57 and then uh, our ISO player. Bennett came in and, and, and helped. Second down and uh, about 45 seconds left here in the ball game. Or I'm excuse me, the half, not the ball game. <laughs> his second goal from the nine. Laster takes the snap, looking to throw out to his man and incomplete through number 12's hands, and he probably would have walked into the end zone there. <clears throat> yeah, that was. Uh, it was a little high, but it was. I mean, very catchable. Very. Catchable. I mean, that's. I mean, that. That's. The third time is it third to the fourth? I know it's the third time that's the that. Fourth, uh, fourth that's the fourth one, yeah. time that. Uh, Warren hasn't been able to, the number hasn't been able to bring down a ball that uh, has been kind of costly for him, quite honestly. Brings up a third and goal from the nine, man split to each side, back to the right of Lassiter. Lassiter takes the snap, looking to throw, fade route. Jump ball, got it. Yeah, that was, that's really a good job by number two. By number two, he would, he's, he did a good job and he came around and uh, Carradine had coverage, but he, he was able to turn around and seal him off and uh, jump up and go get the ball. And, and, that, and there wasn't anything Carradine could do about it. That's that one situation. that uh, he, uh, he used his height advantage Yes, he there. did, yeah. So the Lumberjack score with 33 seconds left here in the uh, first half and uh, going for the PAT now. Justino, kick is away, it's good. 33 seconds left here in the first half. Lumberjacks lead it, 14-0, we'll be back after this. At MNB, we know that every customer is different. That's why we provide one-on-one -on -one guidance from our lending professionals. Our dedicated team understands the importance of taking that next step, and we offer our customers superior financial products and services. Put the strength and stability of MNB to work for you with loan structures tailored to help you make sound financial decisions. Come see what banking with a real community bank feels like. Visit us online at mnbbank.com. Welcome you back here to Warren. Lumberjacks leading this one 14 to nothing. 33 seconds left here in the first half. Jalen Dupree and it looks like Angel Perez back deep to receive for the Leopards. I think we I think uh, we have lost signal or something. I, ben just asked me for they we were working on it. 
we're working on it. And yes, uh, they did score, and it's 14 to nothing with 33 seconds left here in the half. And the Leopards kicking off. Or the Lumberjacks. Lumberjacks. I'm sorry. That one's gonna finally get out of bounds. I keep seeing that all that orange and black, and you know, just kind of like. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Leopards will take over at the 35-yard line. That ball just kind of oblong as Ben always likes to say. It never really wanted to go out of bounds and finally did, thankfully. I believe we've got our signal back, looks like. Oh. Are we still fighting it? Okay, we're still fighting our signal here. Bear with us. Uh, we'll, we'll step up our game a little bit, do a little bit of color and play by play then, being that we don't have TV, okay? Uh, back, at, we're going old school. <laughs> old yeah, school. that's old, old school, that's right. First and 10 from the 35, 33 seconds left in this one. Simmons takes the snap, give to Dupree. Looking right up the middle, nothing there. Might pick up one on first down. Looks like Leopards might be content to go and make some halftime adjustments. Yeah, and, and there will be some, have to be some halftime adjustments. And I think we're back up. Okay, we're back up live with uh, 11, 12. We're just going to let the clock run out on this one. Leopards go into the halftime trailing these Lumberjacks 14 to nothing. Welcome, Welcome to Larry's. <laughs> Hey guys, my name is Garrett. I've been coming to Larry's Pizza here in Malvern ever since it opened. My favorite is baked potato, chicken honey mustard. I love it. Come on down to Larry's. It's so good you don't even know. <laughs> Larry's Pizza has buffet Tuesday and Friday nights starting at 5 p.m. Call us here at Larry's Pizza for all your specialty and game day pizza needs. We want the Malvern Leopards to have a successful football season. Go Leopards! <laughs> Hopefully you've been listening to us the whole time. If you're just joining us, this has been a tremendous ball game, uh, 14 to nothing, but just so many opportunities for both teams to add to either one Warren's lead or one, you know, bring it closer to Malvern. This, this ball game is still heavily in the balance. Nothing has been decided yet. The Leopards do receive the ball to start the second half, and we're looking to cut into this lead and show Warren that we're here to play all four quarters. <laughs> And you know what, the, with the history of the Leopards and, and the, the speed and the ability, I mean, that can happen quick. I mean, that, that can happen real quick. And, it, and you know, either on a, uh, you know, a touchdown run back with Dupree getting loose or Sed getting loose or, you know, a long pass to Simmons. There's, I mean, to uh, Carradine, there's so many things to, that, that can happen that uh, I'm optimistic. It's because it's not like we've been pushed all over the field, you know. It's oh, been a no. battle. No, it has, it, and there is absolutely nothing to hang your head about. This no. This team fought for all 24 minutes of the first half, and we fully expect them to fight for all 24 of the second. And, uh, you know, made the better man win. That's what football is all about. We, we were coming here hoping for a good matchup, and we've got it. Back deep to receive for the Leopards, Angel Perez and Jalen Dupree have moved uh, – Dante Cagle up to that spot in case the squib kick is on again. Jacinto on to kick off for the Lumberjacks. Kick is away. Going to be fielded by Angel Perez at the 12-yard line. He's up over the 20. Looking to get to the outside over the 25. Falls right around the 30-yard line. We'll see if they give it to him. I believe they will, first and 10 from the 30-yard line. Yeah, the Leopards will start with decent field position, and uh, they've uh, had their meetings. They've uh, set, I know they they broke down in their in their categories, offense, defense, and line, and whatever. And uh, we'll be interested to see what the Leopards come out here and do in the second half, as opposed to what we did in the first half. I'm optimistic. First and ten for the Leopards from the 30. <clears throat> Twins to the right, split left. Janelle going to be the up back on the left side. Dupree to the left of Simmons. Here's the snap give to Dupree, looking to run up the middle. Going to get up over the 30. All the way up to around the 33-yard line. Pickup of around three there on first down. Yeah, I look like, uh, I believe it's Irvin Rivera. He'll be back. Hit that, hit that linebacker came up in there and uh, filled the gap and filled the hole that uh, Jalen was going through. Second down here. <clears throat> Trips to the right, twins left. Simmons along the backfield takes the snap looking to throw. It is intercepted. Oh, no. 
Wow. He might take it to the house. Yeah. Yeah. He will. Touchdown. Lumberjacks just jumped around. I don't think Simmons ever saw him. I don't either. I, I don't either. And, and uh, nice play by, uh, I believe that was, uh, oh my gosh, I, I think that was the court. I think that was 14. Was that? Wow. I have no idea. Yeah, they're patting him on the head. Yeah, I believe that was Lassiter that. Uh, Looking for the stick right there, and yeah. he just cut right underneath it. Things dreams are made of. You catch it, and there's nothing yeah. but green field up in front of you. Yeah. Jacinto on for the extra point for the Lumberjacks. Good snap. Good hold. Kick is good. That was not the way to start the second half. 11-15 left here in the third quarter. Leopards Trail, 21-0. We'll be back after this. Encore Healthcare and Rehabilitation is here for you. Whether illness or injury sideline you, Encore will tailor a rehabilitation program for your needs. Meet Helen Haley, one of our rehab residents. And what'd you come to Encore for? Because I couldn't walk. How's your experience been here, Encore? It's been, it's been good. They, everybody's good. Everybody treats me good. They feel good. It's just, it's just been, it's been wonderful. Encore Healthcare and Rehabilitation and the Malvern Leopards, a winning combination. Welcome you back here to Warren as the Lumberjacks intercept the pass from said Simmons to start the half, take it to the house, extend their lead to 21, nothing. And now these Leopards facing probably the second most adversity they faced all year. First, I would say probably that Arkadelphia game, but mm -hmm. still a lot of clock in this one. You got to have a short memory, dust that off, see if you can't put a good drive together here. Yeah, it's, it's uh, a thing about here is, 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 is you know, not, not get your head down, realize that like you say, Seth, there's a lot of ball left in, a lot, lot of ball left, a lot of ball left to be played. And uh, we need to go ahead and answer back right here real quick and close this gap a little bit. Here we go. Jacinto's kick going to be squibbed, fielded by Cagle around the 25-yard line. He's up over the 30 trying to get the sideline, going to be pushed out right around the 35. Looks like they're marking at 36. First and 10 for the Leopards there. <clears throat> Yeah, this is one of those situations now that uh, you you know, like you said, you says got to flush that, got to forget it, you know. It's, it's, yeah, it, it happened. Forget it. Let's go out and and, uh, and and do what we got. We are sharing a booth tonight. If you hear the voices of the other people, they are loud. First and ten. Dupree going to get the snap, and he bursts through the line. Yeah. Going to be near the line to gain. Looks like they're going to give him nine down to the 45-yard line. Yeah, Jalen was almost gone on that one. He had one 10-yard run. That's Going to make it second down and one from the 45. Yeah. Twins right for the Leopards. Janelle going to be the up back on the left side. Dupree to the left of Simmons. Here's the snap give to Dupree. Going to push the pile forward, still going forward. Going to get across midfield all the way down to the 46-yard line, first down Malvern. Well, we're seeing one thing, too, and, and, and I'm going to guess it, it has to be a, an offensive line adjustment. Uh, Jalen's got a little bit more breathing room coming up through there, and, and as we know, he, you know, Dupree doesn't need me much of, enough, much of a hole. I mean, he's picked up, uh, what, 20 yeah. here in the first three carries, something like that. First and 10, fakes the give to Dupree Simmons this time. Trying to push the pile forward, gonna pick up, looks like close to four there on first down. Uh, wow, well, that's not a bad spot, I guess. I thought it was. <clears throat> no, yeah, that's close to four. Yeah. I, <laughs> Second and six from the 42 yard line. You know, the, what I like about it too, I'm watching Leopards. There isn't any panic out there. I mean, you can see that they're, they're you know, they're taking their time. They're going to run their offense. And uh, Twins right. Simmons going to roll, looking to throw. He's got Caradine out there, complete at the 35, pushed out of bounds, just short of the 25, <clears throat> caught the 27 yard line. 
Yeah, that uh, that was one we, we didn't have a whole lot of success with in, in the beginning, but it, it's out there. And that play was designed specifically to get the... Going to flip the Twins over to the left side this time. First and 10 from the 27-yard line. 9-23 left here in the third quarter. Leopards trail 21-0, trying to get on the board. Here's the snap give to Dupree off the left side. Lowers the shoulder and just absolutely plows over a man down to around the 21-yard line. Actually, they're going to say 22. <clears throat> Another really nice run up the middle, and, and that, for whatever reason, that wasn't there in the first half, and I, I can't help but think it has to be we've made some adjustments on our, our offensive line blocking. Uh, I, I would agree, and then if you just see that right now Dupree is running shoulders forward. Sh yeah. he's, he's delivering the blow to anybody who wants to step up and yeah. try to tackle him. Yeah, and it's like uh, – yeah, he's a kid that uh, you got to get him running downhill. And uh, Dupree actually pulled out of Dupree's hands last minute. Simmons going to keep it for a gain of one down to the 21. <clears throat> going to make it third and a long four. Yeah, because when Dupree goes to running downhill, he's he, and, and like he has here in the second half. He's he's a lot different. He's a difference maker, like he is all the time. But. Uh, Probably got two downs to pick up four yards here. Clock nears eight minutes left here in the third quarter. Leopards trail 21-0. Trips left. Dupree to the left of Simmons. They may go Here's for it all right here. Dupree shovels it out just short of Dupree. <clears throat> well, that would have been a good one. That would have worked extremely well. Just he had... Said had a lot of heat on him though. They uh, and I don't know who the lumberjack was, but came from the offside, came out of there un, untouched and really, really put a lot of a lot of heat on him. Going to bring up fourth and four now for the Leopards. A huge fourth and four. Malvin desperately needing to put some points on the board. They're going to come to the line. Trips to the left, <laughs> split right. Janelle going to be the up back off the left side. Brings Dupree in motion from left to right. Simmons takes the snap, looking to throw, set up a screen to Janelle. He's got it, first down and more. Tumbles yeah. over a man, crosses the 10-yard line down to around the eight. Yeah, we need to, that, that's, I hope that's there. It's one that we've had a lot of success with, and uh, Janelle just really goes out there and across the middle, and, and they clear it out, and uh, really. That'll make it first and goal from the eight-yard line for the Leopards. Mm -hmm. We have two up backs off the left side. Dupree's going to line up in front of Simmons. Now shifts out of the way. Simmons takes the snap looking to run off the left side. Not a lot there. He's going to lose yardage. Yeah, the, the <clears throat> Lumberjacks really had that one defensed well. The... Uh, Looked like the, the tackle, maybe the defensive. No, those both of the linebackers came up and uh, really stopped that one before it had a chance to get going. That's going to make it second goal from the 10-yard line. Well, we may call it the nine. Going to come to the line with twins right. Janelle going to be the up back. Snap directly to Dupree. He's trying to get to the outside. He does. He's going to score. Touchdown, Dupree. Oh, no. Whoa. What? He stretched out, hit the ball with the pylon. That's a touchdown in every league. <laughs> That's an awful call. Wow. Lunge forward. Ball knocks the pylon completely off. Yeah. And it's on the far side from us. Mm -hmm. Wow, they got it. They Got him a whole yard short. Third and goal. Dupree takes the snap. This there he time, goes. Now he got in. in. Touchdown, that's, Malvin. Yeah, that's big. Nice, nice. Yeah, the Leopards had to answer there and get some points on the board here and, uh, you know, get this PAT and uh, get a stop against these Lumberjacks this next series and uh, get this thing going our way. 6.48 left here in the third quarter. Leopards cut into the lead, looking to add the extra point is Aziel Martinez. Hold by Dylon Caradine. Good snap, good hold, kick is away, and it is good. 
Leopards trail in this one 21 to 7. We'll be back after this. Farmers Bank and Trust is proud to bring you Casasa. What's Casasa? It's an easy way to earn cash, no talent necessary. It's like a participation trophy that's actually worth something. You do everyday things, we reward you in cash each month. That's free Casasa checking. Ask for free Casasa checking at Farmers Bank and Trust. Red River Dodge of Malvern is thrilled to support the Leopards on the gridiron this season. Make sure you rush over to MalvernDodge.com to check out all the rebates on our new Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Rams. We can't wait to support these guys all season. They work so hard all year long to represent our community on and off the field. Help us cheer on the team tonight. Go Leopards! Good, bro? I mean, you all right, Chief? You all right, Chief? Uh-oh. MalvernDodge.com. Go Leopards! Welcome you back here to Warren. Leopards trailing in this one 21 to seven, but coming off of their first touchdown of the night, a one yard run from Jalen Dupree. Um, I'm looking up Onside here to the, yeah. kick for the Leopards, balls on the ground. We'll see who falls on it. Leopards had a chance at that one. Well, they did. I think Warren might've recovered, they do. That ball bounced around, looked like Clay yeah, might have I, had a chance to fall on it. Just wasn't really expecting it to pop out. I was getting her to say something because I looked out there and I saw Dupree and, and I saw some good, saw the offensive players out there. So I figured it was going to be an onside kick and uh, almost got it. Yeah, that one bounced around in that pile for a little bit. Unable to get it where the Leopards saw the. Lumberjacks will take over first and 10 from the 49 yard line. Twins right, split left. Here's the snap give is to Jackson off the right side. He's looking to throw. Forrest Landreth is all over him. He's going to drop coverage. for a loss. Great coverage. Tried the uh, tailback pass trickery there, and it's going backwards. Clegg had his man and, and out here. Eric did, and, and uh, Dylon Caradine was all over his guy on, on the other side, and uh, he had no place to go with it, and uh, – we got him. Big play there. Big play for the Leopards. Second and 17 back to the 43-yard line. Trips left now. Jackson to the right of Lassender. Give is to Jackson. He's met right at the line to scrimmage. May have got one. Big third down coming up here for the Leopards. Now it's going to be third and what, Seth? About 15, 14? No, I think it's still going to be like 16. 16, okay. Anyway, you gotta, you've got to know where 14 17. is. You've got to know where Lassiter is. you got to know what he's going to do. And you got to watch because I'm thinking we're going to look and see a ball in the air out here somewhere. Third and 17. Lassiter takes the snap looking to throw. On him. Now going to be flushed out. He flushed. Keeps his eyes down the field and drop. Drop. Two. Hutchinson was right there in coverage. Big stop for that Leopard defense. Big play by the Leopard defense. This is going to force the, yellow, the Lumberjacks to punt the ball. 532 left here in the third quarter. Give the Leopards another chance. And uh, we're down two scores. And uh, unfortunately, with with a pick six, it, yeah. he, what, if it if it's butts and candy, whatever, you know, we have a Merry Christmas, however that goes. But nonetheless, <laughs> nonetheless, Leopards are going to get the ball back. Caradine deep. Oh, Laster back to punt for the Lumberjacks kick is away. Going to be a high wobbly one. Coach Plumley signaled for the fair catch there, I believe. That's going to be great starting field position for the Leopards as they look to try to cut further into this lead. Yeah, it uh, it's, it's becoming a battle now. It's uh, the Leopards know they're in it and, and the Lumberjacks have all, you know, they're no, they know they're in it too. I mean, it's going to be a it's going to be a man up and uh, see what happens here. Leopards had there, the, did have some success moving the ball that last series. Major confusion as to where this ball is going to be spotted. This guy over here that's supposed to have spotted <laughs> it has moved three different times. Well, uh, he was at the 42. Now he's moved back to the 40, and now it's all the way back to the, the 37. Interesting uh, way to go about that. But nevertheless, first and 10 from the 37. Twins right. Simmons takes the snap, give to Dupree. Up the middle, got a hold. There it goes, Jalen Dupree. Go. This game is about to be a touchdown, touchdown. Big, difference. There he is, that's what we see. 
We knew it. You hit him in there long enough, and Super Deuce is going to get loose. Jalen Dupree adds to what has just been a tremendous junior season. Yeah. I just... Dupree has loaded this football team on his back and said, follow me, boys. We're going, we're going to go. That quick because hitter. We point, still have 514 left here in the third quarter. Leopards could have given up after the pick six to start nice the shot. half. They yeah. did not. Come out, drive it down the field, punch it in. Quick stop, and now an extra point away from seven-point deficit here. Ozio Martinez, kick is away. It's good. 5-14 left in the third. Leopards trailing 21-14, to but momentum is on our side. We'll be back after this. Welcome you back here to Warren Leopards. One play drive, Jalen Dupree. <laughs> and we've seen that. Makes a house call. And then once again, it's 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 still surprising to me, you know, the kid's 6'1", 203, 205 pounds, and can just it can just really run. Angel Perez has the ball teed up for the Leopards. High kick angled toward the right sideline. This one gonna sell out of bounds. Mm -hmm. Lumberjacks are gonna take over at the 35 yard line. 21 to 14, 5 14 left here in the third quarter, and this is a whole new ball game. Yeah, it is. It's a huge series here for the for the Lumberjacks, and it's a huge series for the Leopards. It's going to be a, a lot. A lot's going to lots going to happen here in the on this next two or three series. The, the Leopards have answered, answered twice, and uh, we got to keep the Lumberjacks from answering at least once or twice. <clears throat> Yeah, Warren has played with the lead the whole game. First pressure really applied to them now. Got a man split to each side, Lassender. We're gonna back the Lumberjacks up five yards here as they were in motion before the snap. Yeah, and, and I got a text here from Ben Dow, so true. He says, momentum is a big in high school sports. Maybe we can start to sn snowball the right way. And it's true because, you know, old Mo looks like he's sitting over there with the, with the black and the white guys with the white sh shirts on. And uh, the Lumberjacks are scrambling just a little bit because, you know, they're, they're behind the change now, first and 15. Man split to each side up, back off the left side. Jackson to the left of Laster. Laster looking to throw, oh, going to be flushed from the pocket. Trying to keep his eyes downfield, now going to take now off. Now you got to get him. And he's That's, got room. Yeah. He's going to cross the 50 and run out of bounds right at the 45-yard line. That, that's what makes that kid so, so dangerous. I mean, he, he's big, he's fast, and uh, play breaks down. He can take off. Yeah, and that was, I mean, great pressure there off the edge. Oh, yeah. The Leopard's getting his face right off the bat. But unfortunately, once they broke through that first level, second level was gone in coverage, and he had room to run. Yeah, he was, he was, he was definitely under pressure, you know, by, way behind the line of scrimmage, and uh, had he play. First and 10 from the 45-yard line. Laster takes the snap, give to Jackson. Looks to try to break it outside, now cuts it back upfield. Looks like he's going to pick up around three on first down. Yep. <clears throat> David Hutchins right there, the, the, the freshman, number 21, really did a good job coming across there and uh, stopping that play for, uh, I'm going to give him two, two and a half. Give him two and a half, three. I'm going to give him three. Okay. <laughs> All right, give him three. Go ahead and feel better. <laughs> <laughs> Second seven from the 42. Laster takes the snap. Give to, no, he pulls, he it, pulls out. it out. Looking to run himself. Angel Perez giving chase. Going to bring him down as he crosses. Well, the ball came out. Nope. They're going to say he was down. And again, close to a fumble. Leopards have been on it both times, just mm. unable to get it to come out on time. Yeah, and, and, and unable to get 14 down before we got the first and 10, and, and that's a big first and 10 for the uh, for the Lumberjacks here. It, uh, first and 10, I'm going to say it, what, the, on the 32? Yep, and credit to Angel Perez there. That's a big stiff arm in his yeah. face, and he just held on and brought him down, nearly forcing a turnover. Laster's got hands on his hips. He may be a little tired right now. Man split to each side. He takes the snap. Give to the back, up the middle. Nothing there. He's met by a wall of leopards. May have got one or two, but it, it wasn't much. 
That was Landon Wolf on the carry. We'll call it second and eight from the 30. And we know they are in four down territory. <clears throat> and have trips right, twins left. Laster alone in the backfield, takes the snap looking to throw. Now rolling, finds his man, has to make a diving catch. Caught by number two. Mm -hmm. Looks like he's gonna be around the 26, 27 okay. yard line. We'll call it third and five, maybe. Yeah. Leopards really need to get, need to stop here and uh, get the ball back and get back to that offense and uh, hold hold them hold them right here. We need to hold them. We need to stop. Third and five from the 27. Trips right, split left. Laster takes the snap, looking to run immediately. That was a oh, hold. Oh, there's a hold. Yeah, it's there it is. They got it. Forrest Landreth was yeah getting. Dang near undressed. Yeah, they're going to bring it back, and and uh, the young man just uh, they could. <laughs> that was a pretty obvious. That was, one. Yeah, that's pretty obvious. <laughs> Wipes away a first down. Now going to make it like a third, and 15, 16 situation. Trips right, split left, the, back to the boy, left of boy, Trips Lassiter. right, and he's looking there. Lassiter oh, looking what? to throw, going to have to throw it quick. Wow. The pressure in his face was Forrest Landreth, incomplete. Yeah. Lassiter did it. He just, he, he he couldn't throw it to Mama, but he sure threw it out there, found an open spot out there, and and uh, had to dump the ball. Big fourth, fourth down here for the Leopards. The, uh, <clears throat> Landreth drawing the hold and then getting the pressure there. A couple of really huge plays yeah, that's right, yeah. from the junior. Brings up fourth, and we'll call it 18 from the 38-yard line. You need to get it to the 30, please. Going to be Big. trips right, twins left, Laster alone in the backfield. Confusion by Warren's receivers. Play clock running down. They They're did, unable they, to get set. Get that should up. be oh. a flag. We'll see if they get a timeout yeah. or if it was a delay of game. No. They're going to call a delay of game. Call a delay of game. They didn't know. And... Uh, Warren Laster, is frazzled. Yeah, well, Laster was talking to his wide out out there, and it was something he, he didn't like. And, uh, yeah, and they're going to have to punt it now. Looks like they might be dropping back into a punt formation. Yeah, it gives it, it – honestly, it, it gives the Lumberjacks the opportunity, the chance to pour – you know, to uh, – Put the leopards deep in their own territory, and uh, but with Laster, you got you never know with this kid. You got to watch him. Caradine drops back late. Laster punt is away. Going to be a fair catch signaled by Caradine right around the 12 yard line. Yeah. All Defense right. does its job. Let's see if the offense can go back and even this thing up, Ron. Yes, sir. It's one thing about we'll, we'll keep it here at the, at the switch. You know, Mo hasn't left the leopards over there yet. I mean, he looked like he kind of wanted to come over <laughs> on this side for a little bit, and then, you know, Warren gets a very untimely but deserved holding call, and it's kind of like what happened to Leopard some in the first half. Untimely penalties that, that the lab absolutely – Drive killers. Yeah, kill a drive. And uh, I imagine we're going to see a lot – Lee Simmons number two again, don't you? First and 10 from the 12 yard line. Twins left. Dupree motions back to the right of Simmons. Here's the snap give to Dupree. Looking to run off the left There's side. Got some more room. He's going to lower his shoulder, fall down to the 29 yard line. First down, Malvin. Right now, Jalen Dupree is finding the holes. Yeah. Nicely set up by that offensive line. Nice, nice job by the uh, left side of that offensive line. And uh, who's on that left side over there? Oh, that's uh, old 76. That's I old Vinny. Vinny Vinnie Winter. So he has six <laughs> yard carry on the night. <laughs> Benny's making a hole over there. 76 is, is really working on him. Going to be first and 10 for the Leopards. Simmons takes the snap, give to Dupree. This yeah. time he's going to pick up, looks like close to four on first down. Got into a crowd of people, but still able to get a good gain on first down. Yeah, and and, and that's that, the, the Jalen Dupree, you know, running downhill. I mean, and that's a, yeah, that's right on five. We will call it second and five. 
Man split to each side. Up back is Janelle off the right side. Dupree to the left of Simmons. Here's a snap fake to Dupree. This time Simmons looking to run. He's got some room as he's going to have enough for the first down. And he is WWE slung down around the 44-yard yeah. line. That was quarterback on quarterbacks what that was. Uh, but uh, nonetheless. I Simmons. call it the belly to back. <laughs> uh, and they'll give it a first and 10 for the Leopards. Ball all the way back to 44. <laughs> 110 left here in the third quarter. Man split to each side. Janelle mm -hmm. going to be the up back off the left side. Dupree to the right of Simmons. Well, so far. Yeah, Fake the is. give to Dupree. Simmons looking to run. Yeah. He made a lot out of nothing right there. You know, it seems well, the ball came out, and now Dupree has it. No, Janelle has it. <laughs> well. He got we, close to where I think <laughs> Simmons was going to be down anyway. Yeah, evidently the ball was no pulled loose. Done. Yeah, I thought Simmons was down. All of a sudden, I, I saw too. Janelle up with it and running. <laughs> Another heads-up play by number five. Simmons had five yards. We'll call it second and five. He may have. Leopards have to run at least one more play here in the third quarter. Twins right. Janelle going to be the up back off the left. Here's the snap give to Dupree. He's going to fall forward well, near the line to gain. Yeah, he's, he, he's, yeah, it, yeah, it. yeah, he's got it because he got to the he got to the 45. It may be a short. Oh my lord! That's a first down. That's all right. Yeah, no, right. but what a spot! <laughs> I. They looked at the first down, and that's where they spotted the ball, not where he ended up, because he was just he was just outside of the 45, and they got him at the 46. That's the end of the quarter, buddy. Yeah, I'll say that'll do it for the third. Exciting third quarter. Your Leopards fought back in this one, and they're still fighting. They'll face a first and 10 when we come back to start the fourth quarter, trailing 21-14. Teal Dentistry is a proud supporter of Malvern Athletics. Doctors Jesse and Matt Teal provide a full family dentistry service. From checkups to cleanings to dentures, Teal Dentistry loves working with patients of all ages and strives to make every smile bright. Stop by and meet the friendly staff at Teal Dentistry and let them brighten your smile. Teal Dentistry, 927 South Main Street in Malvern, or call for an appointment, 501-337-9559. Welcome you back here to Warren. Leopards facing a first and 10 from the 46. Give is to Dupree. He's going to lower Boy, his shoulder and get up to the 40-yard line. Powerful run by Dupree. Yeah, and, and I'm watching that. And, and, boy, I tell you what, that's really outstanding blocking over on that right side. And then you've got uh, Janelle going in there, on, on falling in on top of that. And uh, it's just it's pretty impressive. Going to bring up a second and four for the Leopards. Ball on the 40-yard line. Going to have a receiver split to each side. Janelle going to be the up back on the right side. Dupree going to be to the right of Simmons. Here's the snap give to Dupree. He's going to fall forward, pick up another first down as he's down near the 35. We're going to call it the 36. I tell you, we've watched a kid grow up, and uh, we talk about Vinny a lot, and, and, and rightfully so. But I'm going to tell you something. Quentin Cooper, number 79 for the Leopards, has just really grown up. And I mean, he's a, he's a force out there. Yes. Big old kid, and I mean, I, I know you, you got when you got tackles, you know, like Winters and uh, Cooper on the other side. I mean, you got size, and and they're they're agile, excellent blockers. Ten fifty four left here in the ball game. Leopards trailing by seven, but driving first and ten from the thirty six. Simmons looking to run this time, going to cut it back to the outside. He's got a nice burst there, up over to the twenty five, down to the twenty four. That'll be another first down for the Leopards. Uh, that was just said doing what said does. I mean, and, and we've seen it since he was a freshman, and, and he's just he's just such a heady football player. He's, and he's, he's even Dupree are so much alike that they'll let their block set up and then they'll run or whatever off of their block, and, and they don't they don't ever get ahead of the blocking. Twins right for the Leopards. First and 10 from the 24. Here's the snap give to Dupree. Looking to get outside now cuts it up. Not a lot there this time. Looks like he's going to pick up two on first down. Yeah, the Lumberjacks were out there, and they were waiting on that one. And uh, Jalen hit the hole, and it was just it, it closed up on him real quick. Still positive yards. Going to be second and eight, I believe. 
So. Ethan Martin came in as a wide out, and uh, he's a really steady receiver. Leopard slowed down a little bit, no doubt, trying to give Dupree a little bit of a breather. Twins left, split right. Janelle the up back on the right. Here's the snap fake to Dupree. Simmons looking to throw. Mm. Going to be short of his intended target there, looking for Dylon Carradine on a slant route. Brings up a big third and eight. Boy, I tell you what, he, he, he threw a bullet in there, too. That was one that, if it was going to be caught, Dylon was going to catch it. I mean, it was one of those that you see that's down where the only, by, only that guy that can get there is the intended receiver, and Dylon just couldn't quite get down there and get it. Huge third and eight from the 22-yard line here. Well, the Leopards obviously were in the four-down territory, and uh, this, this will probably be a play really to set up the fourth-down play. Twins left for the Leopards. Janelle, the up back off the right side. Dupree to the right of Simmons. Here's the snap give to Dupree. He runs into the line. Doesn't look like he's going to have a whole lot there. Crosses the 20 down to the 19. Yeah, it makes it it makes it makes manageable, though, because it, it brings up about, uh, what, five? Yeah, I guess fourth that's and five. fourth and five, fourth and six which is a whole lot more manageable than fourth and nine, but still it's a, it's, it's, it's a hill for the big hill for the Leopards to climb. And uh, Coach Plumley wants to talk about it, him and uh, Coach Parker, and we'll be back unless you want to stay here. It's your call. <laughs> Let's stay here and okay. talk about it. I, okay. You know, Let me get a drink of water. Then. Uh, no. <laughs> okay, well, go ahead. Well, this is a huge moment in the ball game. There's two ways of thinking about this, and I am by no means questioning Coach Plumley and what he chose to do, so do not take it that way. You want to take a time out here to make sure you have the correct play because this is a huge fourth down. But at the same time, you're taking the risk of if you don't get it here, that's a timeout you might not need later. Coach Pumley betting on his offense right here to go out here and pick up this long five, short six and see if they can't tie this ball game up. The other side of it is, though, he's looking at his defense, and his defense hasn't given up anything, and you know, because of the one touchdown they got in the second half was on a pick six. Oh, yeah. no. So, I, so he's, he's looking at his defense and saying, you know, hey, my defense, you know, we've done a good job. So, uh, And I could not be any more clear. I was not questioning I know, anything. I know that. Oh, I know, I know that. I, I, know. I, I, oh, I get I agree. that. I want the right call here because this is a huge play in the game. Trips left, split right. Janelle going to be the up back off the left as well, going to bring – Dupree in motion, and we got flags. We got flags. I mean, it's got to be. It's got to be. It's got to be us on motion. Absolutely. It's got to be. Yeah, that's another one of those that really hurts. And and uh, same thing happened to the uh, to the lumberjacks back there on, on one of theirs. And, and well, it hurts even worse, some, Ron, because it, it's coming out of a timeout. Yeah. Yeah. That's when you you know the play that you want. Yeah. You, you know, you know the, you're supposed to know, you know the, the count. snap count. Everything <laughs> should be perfect. Everything Janelle. should be. That'll uh, that's the kind of stuff that keeps you up late at night. Still going to be fourth down for the Leopards. We'll call it a short 11. Twins right, split left. Simmons takes the snap, looking to throw. Play the game here, looking for Cagle. He's got him. He spins off of a man. He's still trying to fight for it. They get that. I think the he's spot. got it. First no, down, Malvern. No, no, Yes, it no. is. Look at the spot. But he's a, oh, oh, I'm look, looking at the other side. What are you looking oh, at? I'm sorry, I was looking at the other side. I was looking at the 20 and the 10. Good. Let me be excited. <laughs> I'm, I'm dumbfounded. I mean, Cagle, <laughs> Cagle would not go down. I mean, that's all on the senior. That's, that's Dante did that. I mean, he's on his own. That's going to make it first and 10 from the 12-yard line. This leopard drive stays alive. What a throw by Simmons and what an effort by yes. Cagle. Simmons takes the snap give to Dupree. Going to get up near the five-yard line. Looks like they're going to mark it the six. Yeah, that's really, really, Seth, that's that first down that you want to go ahead and get five or at least six on. They're going to give us six. So, yeah, that changes things a lot. Old Moe's going to go out here and uh, stay over here with these leopards. Second and four. Twins right for the Leopards. Janelle going to be the up back off the left side. Simmons to the left. Uh, I mean, Dupree to the left of Simmons. Give to Dupree. Oh. He's going to be met at the five and driven backwards. That'll be a gain of one. Going to make it a third and three, I believe. Boy, that was a collision. That was a collision. The 31's one shaking up. 
31 for the Lumberjacks. A little bit dinged up after that one. Yeah, that, that was a collision in there. Brings up third down and three Third and three from the five yard line. 733 well, left here in the ball game. You know, there's so much you can do. There's so many things you can do, you know, with uh, Janelle, with our quarterback right here, and follow him Simmons in. Simmons takes follow the carry. It's touchdown, well, Malvin. Right there. Well, when you look at that, look look who he followed in. 76 and two. I mean, you know. You, and five. And five. five. You got you know, D1 players out there, and, and that's what those guys are. We are an extra point away from a tie ball game as these Leopards have a no-quit attitude. Oziel Martinez on to attempt the extra point. Good hold, kick is away. It's good. We are all tied with 7.18 left in the ball game. We'll be back after this. Farmers Bank and Trust is proud to bring you Casasa. What's Casasa? It's an easy way to earn cash, no talent necessary. It's like a participation trophy that's actually worth something. You do everyday things, we reward you in cash each month. That's free Casasa checking. Ask for free Casasa checking at Farmers Bank and Trust. Welcome you back here to Warren, Arkansas. They might as well have just not played anything, put seven <laughs> minutes on the clock, and started from here. Yeah. 21 21, 7 18 left in this one. Leopards just scored behind a Cedric Simmons five yard run to tie the ball game. Angel Perez teased the ball up for the Leopards. Here we go. Kick is away, angled toward the right sideline. Going to be caught at the 30. Makes a man miss. Going to get up to the near the 35, driven out of bounds right around there. I bet they mark it on the 35. Yeah. Actually, 34. 34. You, and this is one of those situations that, first of all, the Lumberjacks didn't take the foot off the gas. They didn't let it. They, they, they have not let up. You know, they, they have, they've been in a, you know, scratching and fighting, and the leopards, leopards have had just a little more, a lot more fight in them, I guess is what They've got Ron all fired up. He can't yeah. even get what he wants to say. I now. never can. Never can. <laughs> Where are hey. you, Ben? I need you, brother. Twins right, split left. Here's the snap, fakes the give. Quarterback run all the way. Oh, oh. He's dancing around in the backfield, able to fall forward for yeah. a gain of what looked like was going to be <laughs> nothing. Yes, he made uh, – a one or two yard loss or four into a two three, and a half, three yard, three yard gain. Yeah. Lassiter, great ball player. And he's obviously watching him out here. He's definitely the leader on this bunch. Trips right, twins left. Lassiter alone in the backfield on this second seven from the 37 yard line. Takes the snap looking to throw. Akir Smith Holding. gets pressure. Wow. wow. And it's going to be incomplete. Ramir Boy, they missed, well, they missed a hold. They missed a hold on uh, a, a really an obvious hold uh, coming across there on uh, a Curry Smith. He was he was he was grabbed. Ramir Bennett on the coverage there had him covered with a blanket. Yep. Going to be a third and seven for the Lumberjacks. Trips yep. to the right, split left. Jackson going to be the left of Lassiter. Here's the snap, Laster looking to throw. Rolling right now, keeps his eyes downfield, and it, it is, is picked off, Angel Perez. Angel Perez just stuck a dagger in the, in the Lumberjacks. It's uh, 6.30 left in the ball game here, 21-21, and uh, Leopards just came up with a huge turnover. And there was two Leopards right yeah. there that had a beat on that one. I was a little yeah. bit worried we were going to knock each other off of it, but Perez looks it in and makes a huge play from Alfred. Well, you know, and that and that's kind of rare because Lassiter just has not made mistakes like that. And uh, I don't, you know, we had a little pressure on him, but uh, kind of surprised that uh, that he did make that mistake. Malvern's going to get a first and ten from the 48-yard line. Twins right. Janelle going to be up back off the left. Dupree to the left of Simmons. Here's the snap give to Dupree. Running upfield, 
Going to get up over the 50 down to the 49 yard line. Pick up of three on first down. 6-19 left in this one. Leopards have two timeouts. Warren has all three. Going to be a second and seven from the 49. Twins left. You're now going to be the up back off the right. Dupree to the right of Simmons. Simmons takes the snap. Give to Dupree. Able to fight off the first oh. man and drag him <laughs> forward for a couple of yards. Nice stay with him there with uh, number 31 for the Lumberjacks. And, and I don't have a... I don't have him on my roster, but uh, he's made some really good plays. Big time third and six here the Leopards are facing. 5.30 left in the ball game, tie ball game. Leopards come to the line, twins right. Janelle gonna be the up back on the right. Dupree gonna be to the right of Simmons. Listen to this atmosphere. Simmons takes the snap, rolling right. Plenty of time, plenty throw. of time, looking. Now just going to have to tuck it. Not a lot there. Going to be maybe pick up one or two, bring up a fourth and five. Yeah, I, I and I think the Leopards need to, will just probably just go ahead and punt this one. Good coverage there by the Lumberjacks yeah. downfield. Nobody able to get open for the Leopards. Try to uh, punt this one deep and uh, – Pin the Lumberjacks down, of course. With, uh, and, and coach called another timeout. Timeout Leopards. 5.07 left here in a 21-21 ball game. Welcome you back here to Warren. Leopards facing a fourth and five. 507 left here in the ball game. Take their second time out of the half. We'll see if it was to draw up a play or just calm everybody down. Looks like the offense is going to be on the field. Well, now once again, trust, trust in that defense, Seth, if this doesn't work. This is play of the game type stuff right here. Trips left, split right. Dupree to the left of Simmons. Simmons takes the snap, looking to throw. Got a man across the middle, oh, but knocked oh, away at oh, the last oh. second. Great play by number 23, yes, Jalen Lee. Oh, you tell you what, you cannot plan it any better than that. I mean, he right there at the time, and, uh, you know, no question. There wasn't any interference, just an absolutely great play by the D-back. or the, I guess that was a safety for the, for the, for the Lumberjacks. Yeah, you're, you're trusting Janelle there, big body. Let him post up, see if he can't get it. But Jalen Lee just perfectly timed it, knocked it away. Huge play for the Lumberjacks. Momentum swings back to the team in black. 5.01 left in this one. They're going to take over first and 10 from the 47-yard line. Come to the line with a man split to each side, up back off the right side. Jackson to the right of Lassiter. Give is to, well, Lassiter going to keep it. Now he's looking to run on the outside. Angel Perez gives Chase, going to push him out of bounds right at the 45-yard line, bring up second and short. Nice run there, a lot of toughness there by Lasseter. He's just, he's just he's that tough kid. He's a big, tough kid. I mean, he's all of, all of that 6'2", 204, 205 or whatever, and he, he's, he's big, he's fast, he's strong. He's a heady ball player. Man splits each side, this time up back off the left side. Laster takes the snap, give to Jackson, looking to run up the middle. He's going to have enough for the first down as he powers forward down to the 36-yard line. Coach Plumley thinks he's got something should be called there. He's working the side judge pretty good. I'm assuming he's seeing a hold that they're not. Yeah, and it's one of those situations, you know, when you go on a fourth down and, and you just and you don't make it. Yeah, it, it really does. It, it, it fires that uh, offense up coming out on, you know, on there for the lep I mean, for the Lumberjacks. Last are going to keep this time, running off the left side, push backwards, and ball Bumbo. comes out. Mountain Bumbo has got it. it. Hutchinson on the run. No. No. Yeah. Oh, that oh, ball was oh, out. That was out. Oh, wow. And that should have been six wow. for Hutchinson. Wow. I'm, 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 
Coach Dupree's right there in front of it. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, man, Malvern. Oh, my. Livid as we should be. Oh, my. That ball was out. Oh, my. If, if, oh, my. If that, that was the uh, – oh. You're probably, gonna look back and – oh. You're gonna look back at 10 years and, and, and remember this one. This is, that's the kind of stuff film needs to be sent to AAA if something happens to this. There he goes. Born proud, well, the clock started, but the official had not signaled it until now. Yeah, that, that, I, don't, I don't know how you missed that. That uh, ball was out. Well, and yeah. What are we doing? Coach Plumley's working the referee over here, and, and he's got his back on him, and I guess – Warren takes a timeout. We're going to keep it here. I, 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 Ron, I, I've never seen anything like it. That wasn't even close. You know, that ball was out. Because we looked over there. When I looked over there before it was picked up, I saw the ball rolling on the ground. And uh, But anyway, you know, those are situations if you're a leopard. And, and I, I know Coach Plumley saying, look, it's a bad break. Let's overcome it. Don't let that define us. And uh, uh, Well, the only thing. The only thing that you could cling to is possibly forward progress. Yeah, and that it would be it would be pretty weak if that's what they said. But I, that's the but, only way I could see it. But but what I'm looking I'm, I'm looking at their spot. So they've given him they gave him a yard gave him a yard. And the ball was running loose at about the 32, 33 yard line when it was picked up. Wow. 349 left in this one. Leopards one timeout. Lumberjacks use their first right there. They'll have two left. It is important to note Warren does have a kicker making around 40, yes, he 42 does. yarders yeah, in warm ups. Yes, he does. Tight twins each side. That reverse play they ran earlier. He's got a little bit of room, breaks a couple of tackles. Number 12 going to be brought down by Bennett after a gain down to the 23-yard line. 22 will be a first down for the Lumberjacks. Yeah, it, uh, you know, it's, it's really tough. It's really tough to overcome for the Leopards. It's going to be tough for the defense, not only for getting stopped on the first and 10, but then having to pick, you know, a scoop and score called, called back on you that uh, – yeah, that, Everybody on our side, of, on the visiting side, which is our side, thought it was a would be a scoop and score. Laster takes the snap, keeping it himself this time, looking to run off the left side. Nothing there. He's going to be dropped. And you know that you really hope that's not what decides this game because it was such a good game. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 That's you know. The you best want, the best you, scenario now is to go into overtime and settle it that way. You know. Yeah, I, I would. I, that would seem to be poetic. We're 21-21 here with two minutes and 45 seconds left in this uh, quarterfinal. Class four. Got to love playoff football. Twins to each side. Lester alone in the backfield, second 10. They look like he jumped early. Not going to be called high throw, incomplete. And absolutely leveled by well, Eric yeah, Clegg. You got to yeah, be careful there. That's that. that now nah, he's all right. I mean, that, that's that's a clean play. He, he wasn't able to, uh, you know how they love to throw that to the defenseless ball. receiver's he penalty. I, that's yeah. one I don't want to let the referee have a chance at. If I'm yeah. saying, yeah, going to be third and ten. Mm -hmm. And obviously, what do you you don't know? Timeout here, two thirty-one. Bo's calling a timeout, and and you don't know what you don't know what the the lumberjacks are thinking. There's third down. Uh, do we keep it in the middle of the field for this? You know, for my all-star kicker, just in case, or what? I, you know, I. I mean, that's probably what they're taking a the timeout here to talk about. If it, if it were me, I would be running probably Lasseter, yeah, quarterback I, draw uh, up yeah, the middle. Yeah, I If he picks up enough to feel comfortable to go for it on fourth down, maybe. <laughs> if not, you run the clock down, see if you make the kick. Um, but you definitely run some time off and don't give it back to this Malvern offense that's been hot. Yeah, yeah, and the Leopards have got to be aware of it, and I think everybody in the, sta in the stadium is too, you know. You've got to see where 14 is and what he's going to do because, you know, he's he's the motor that makes, makes this team run and uh, – 
Boy, I tell you what, he's a good one. 231 left in the ball game, 21-21. If you like drama, this is the place to be. Yeah, it's where you need to be. Trips right, twins left, Lasseter alone in the backfield. He takes the snap, looking Look, like to throw. He's coming. just going to have to chunk it away as yeah. Angel Boy, Perez and Forrest Landreth were bringing the heat. Woo! Perez and Landreth come out across. I mean, they were they were on a mission. Well, now it's decision time. Yeah. How, how much do you trust that kicker? Well. It doesn't even look like they're thinking about it. This no. looks like this is full on go for it. Okay. I guess, you know, uh, Fourth and ten. Play of the game. Yeah, Bo's going to have to call timeout because they're down. To, well, maybe they get it off. Ten he seconds. Might, he eight. might get it off. It's going to be close. Twins right. Two on the play. He's going to have to take the timeout. Gonna, yeah. That's Warren's last timeout of the half. Yeah. And I think you, you have to. This is the play of the game for Warren here. You, you pick this up. There's a good chance you're walking away with the win. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because uh, – I believe everybody's out of timeouts now. No, we have one. Well, we have one left. Oh, yeah, okay. All right. We have one. Fourth and ten. Ball currently sits on the 24-yard line. A great game that you just are hoping it doesn't come down to a call that could have been missed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Leopard defense played a tremendous game tonight, only allowing 14 points scored on them. Trying to do it one more time here on fourth and ten. Lumber. Yeah, this, uh, <clears throat> depending on this this could be the season right here. Lumberjacks come to the line. Twins right, up back off the left side. Laster takes the snap, looking to throw. Out towards his man. It's complete. Caradine makes the tackle. And he He's did short. not make it. He's short of the line to gain. Leopards take the ball. Whoa, wait a minute. Well, it's going to depend on the spot, and that is a very favorable spot. Whoa, it is. Whoa, whoa. Good grief. That is a very favorable My spot. My Lord. You know, and this is this – is, uh, I, I'm, 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 I'm troubled by this. I'm troubled by the call over there, and I'm really troubled by that spot. Wow. Wow. Well, this is. Yeah, I'm afraid this is the measurement I'm this of all measurements going to go against us. We're going to see what happens as they pull it tight. It's going to be short. Going to be short. Malvern takes short. over. What a wow. stop. What a stop. I, you know, I, 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 granted it was short, but it was a, still, a, still a very questionable spot to me. So the Leopards got two minutes and 19 seconds left to do something in this ball game or, uh, because we have a timeout and they do not have a timeout. So uh, it would be, be kind of interesting to see what uh, Lance comes up with. It will be. I, don't be shocked at all if you don't remember the guys who've got you here. That's true. I oh, wouldn't you've be got, surprised you've, to see a Jalen yeah. Dupree carry. And if yeah. we if we get something, we get something. If not, we go to overtime, and we trust the fact that we have momentum right now. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, I've been wrong before, and I could be <laughs> wrong again. And unless he moves, man, uh, said empty backfield. Trips right, split left. Simmons takes the snap, looking to run. Got to stay in bounds. Oh, we're going to have a flag here. It's in the area of holding. We're going to see. There's Vinny. That's Vinny says it. It is a hold on Malvern. I mean, anyway, that's going to be a half the distance. Half the distance, 214, and uh, I, I just, I really think the Leopards probably looking for something good to happen, but are thinking overtime, don't you? Uh, I think we're hoping we get to overtime. That's what I, I think. Simmons alone in the backfield, man split to each side. Dupree going to be the up back off the right. Simmons looking to run, lowers his shoulder. And he's going to get near the 10 yard line. Going to bring up. All right. Looks like close to uh, second and 
13, minute, 14. Yeah, run it down. That's going to take it down to, what, a minute 30, something like that. It's going to get down to a minute 20-something. Should be no hurry here. Leopards come to the line. Five on the play clock. Twins right. Three on the play clock. Two. Here's the snap. Simmons looking to run again. He's got a hole. He's got a hole. He's got a hole. Go, Sid. Go, 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 Sid. Oh, he's all the way down to the 44-yard line, and that changes things. That changes things, everything. I didn't mean to holler, go, go, go. I got a little excited, You brother. keep yelling. Don't, don't, okay. don't apologize yeah, nice. for it. Yeah, I thought... I really thought he could get away, but... Uh, they got the clock running right now. The chains aren't even set. Yeah. Wow. Wow. 105 on the clock. Simmons takes the snap, looking to throw. Airs it out, looking for Caradine. Caradine being pulled, and he brings it in! And he brings it in! And they're going to call off. If they call off... It's, no, it's, it's not a, offense. He was getting pulled. It's defensive pass interference. Doesn't matter. Caradine, huge catch. Wow, 54.9 seconds. Caradine makes that big catch, and we're going to have the ball. I'm going to look at what, about the six-yard line? It looks that way. Yeah. And what looked to be just going to overtime, now the Leopards are threatening. Yeah, yeah, the left, yeah. Yeah, that's... Uh, The only thing he pushed off of was the hold that he was getting held by. Okay, I was when the flag went down. You, you just never know. We've had we've had a couple go against us, so I was, I was. Now the big thing is Leopard's got to go ahead and uh, get Jalen Dupree in the in the end zone. Fifty four point nine seconds left. Leopards do have one timeout left. Ball on the six yard line to extend the season. Simmons looking to run to the outside, cuts it up over the five. Now push backwards. Ball They're, come out. No, okay, you're going to call that a fumble, and that wasn't. You're Wait gonna, a minute. You're going to say that wasn't. Oh, no, 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 you're no, You're going to say no. that wasn't oh. forward progress? That's, what a joke. Wow. Come on, wow. Okay, let's, okay. We've got hose. We got hose twice on fumbles. I mean, Simmons Holy hit, cow. driven backwards. Forward press. Yeah, I mean, come on, it's golly. Wow, wow. Credit to Warren, jumping on the ball, never giving up. Yeah. I don't, I still, I don't think there's any way you can call the one forward progress and call that one not. I, don't, I just don't think you're handy, but. Nonetheless, listen, you got to give it to these Warren Lumberjacks. They have not given up. Nothing over the top here. Five yards in 49 seconds. Warren jump, jumps. Jump. Okay, you know what? Safety do it pretty good, too. I would take it. That's going to be half the distance back to the two and a half yard line. I'm telling you, I expect our, I expect our defensive linemen to just absolutely lay their ears back and go for them. I'm sure that's what Coach Brum, Brumfield has told them to go get him. One bad snap. That's all we're asking for. Go get him. Go get him in the backfield, boys. There Here's he goes. The snap. There. Lester looking to run. Romir Bennett going to meet him around the four-yard line. Yeah, we'll probably use our timeout. I don't know if you will here. Uh, Warren going to have not. to run one more play before we might be heading to overtime. With them running one more play, this is where you drop everybody back. Nothing deeper than the deepest. Mm. Wow. I'd like to see us sink even further. Last are going to just fall down with it. And that's going to take it to overtime. What an exciting ball game. Wow. That's going to take us to overtime. Score at the end of regulation is 21-21. We'll be back after a word from our sponsors. Horns Outdoor is ready to serve your outdoor needs at both their Hot Springs and Malvern locations. Horns carries the number one tractor brand in the world, Mahindra, as well as tractors by Coyote, John Deere, Kubota, LT, and Massey Ferguson. 
For your residential lawn needs, Horns carry zero-turn mowers by Hustler and Spartan. Horn also carries a full line of outdoor power tools. For all of your outdoor needs, visit Horns at 3505 North Highway 171 in Malvern or at 3034 Albert Pike in Hot Springs. Welcome you back here to Warren, Arkansas as we get ready to start overtime, which I believe you're probably going to be facing a uh, coin toss situation. Yeah. Unless it's changed since the last time we've been in overtime, I believe it's you start at the 10-yard line and each each group gets a uh, possession unless something has changed. Yeah, unless there's a ball on the ground. It's been a long time since I've called an overtime game. I... Uh, did have, have we called one? I don't remember us calling uh, one. We, I know we played in over or not overtime. We played in overtime at Joe T. Robinson one year uh, when I was still coaching. Okay. <laughs> it's been a while. Leonard Leach and uh, Davian Jenkins. You know, after a certain period of time, some of these games run together. You, you think? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like this one, though. You know, this is one for the ages here. I mean, you got questionably maybe the two top teams in 4A. Oh, yeah. And maybe. Uh, I wouldn't take anything away from Arkadelphia. No, no. Yeah. Harding Academy, McGee playing a heck of a game tonight. What's, how's Arkadelphia doing? They were, what well, were waiting on. Uh, Arkadelphia up 41 13. 41 13. Oh, okay. 62 okay. Oh. to 55 Elkins in the fourth quarter. Okay. And, 62 to 55. Yep, and Harding Academy up 22 to 20 in the fourth okay. quarter over McGee. Yeah, sounds like a great ball game. Hey, going listen, over at Harding. Yeah, there's going to be some. There's going to be some really good 4A semifinals next week, and uh, let's get the Leopards there. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that is a. This game is going to be remembered one way or another for a lot of plays. Both, you know. A lot of team or both teams had key drops. Both teams had key turnovers. Some called, some uncalled. <laughs> yeah, it's been you know it, it's been quite honestly, it's been a pretty what pretty well officiated games. I mean, of course, we're looking at some of them as homers that uh, maybe you know oh, lumberjacks aren't looking at home. But I, but I do question the two fumbles. I, I, I'd really like to see replay on the scoop and score over there, and then down here right at the end of the ball game when 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 said is is absolutely stood up and for, forward progress has stopped. And uh, anyway, I don't I don't view it as homer by any. Any okay. stretch of the imagination. <laughs> I just think that sometimes you miss calls. Officials are not perfect either. I know I wouldn't want to do it. No, you know, and and, and I saw a deal that AAA had put out uh, a feelers, you know, and, and wanting people to come and, and be officials. But, boy, I mean, you got to – here we go. Warren is going to be on offense first. They're going to be going on the right side of the field. field yeah. So, you know, and I know they, they would, you know, put out the call for, for officials. And, uh, guys, Seth, it, it, it takes some kind of a tough-skinned individual to do it. I mean, and, and, and not only that, you know, we don't have it here so much, but there's a lot of areas in the good old U.S. of A. that the, the, the officials are being attacked, physically attacked yeah, and, and, and everything. So, you know, it's uh, – and it's you know it's pretty easy to set up here and second guess. Well, no matter what, you got to be proud of these leopards. They're yeah. down 21 to nothing. Easy to just give up, pack up shop, head back to town, and say it's over. Score 21 unanswered, and they're sitting there at the six yard line with a chance to win it at the end of the game. Yeah, and and, and one unfortunate pa one unfortunate pass that ended up with, with a pick six, and 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 that's their, their own. That's their only team. We start overtime with Warren on the ball first, first and 10. They're going to go trips left, up back off the right side. Laster alone in the backfield from the 10-yard line. Laster looking to run. He's going to fall forward down to around the 7-yard line, pick up of around two or three there. Yeah. Maybe 8-yard line. Yeah. Second and goal from the 8. Eric Clegg was there to uh, make sure he didn't go very far. Senior D-back wide receiver. What a ball game. Well, I'm telling you, yeah. 
Tight twins over here on the right side. Twins left. Jackson to the right of Lassiter. Bo wants timeout. Warren's taking a timeout. Coach Hembry saw something he didn't like or did like, but I don't think he liked it. But anyway, he got a quick timeout. <laughs> and uh, first I'm in timeout in overtime. And, uh, we'll first and only timeout in overtime. You only get one. That's right. You get so, one? I, I don't know. You do. You only get one. Well, okay. And that's, that's the key factor there. You know, obviously you want to use it to make sure you get a right play. But now you don't have it for your defense if you need it there. Malvern – did win the toss, elected to go on defense first because then you know you know exactly what you need. need to, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's like uh... so after the timeout, still going to be second and goal from the eight. Twins left for the Lumberjacks, up back off the right side. Jackson to the right of Lassner. Lassner takes the snap, looking to throw. Now going to be flushed, He's trying to keep his eyes downfield, lets it go, incomplete. Looking Boy, I tell you what, I noticed too, I was, I, talking about a heads-up play. Jared, uh, number 16. Barber. Barber, Jared Barber come running. He saw something, and, uh, I mean, Jared come flying over here on his left side and was right in the middle of what was going on. And uh, great read by Barber. He's, he's so intelligent and plays, you know, plays hard, but he, he plays smart and plays hard and uh, it's meant a lot to this football team. Third and goal from the eight. Trips left. Jackson to the right of Lassender. Lassender takes the snap looking to throw. Out over to his, his man, over his head, incomplete. Going to bring wow. up fourth and goal from the eight. Now, now you're in a situation we've heard about the uh, the the kicker, kicker, and uh, we'll see what what he, Coach Hembry wants to do. I guess he's going to he's going to. Coach Hembry's already decided he's. There's going to be the kicker. He's going to send the no. kicker out. Well, he's going to listen. He doesn't have a timeout, and I guess he'll get out there and have plenty of time. Yeah. Still got 12 on the play clock. Yeah. So it'll come down to Jacinto. Yeah, come down, and the Leopards will have a chance to win it with a touchdown. Cornish to hold for Jacinto. Kick is away. Uh -oh. He chili dipped it a little uh -oh. bit. It's no good. It's no good. Wow. So any score for the Leopards will do it. Yeah. Yeah. Field goal touchdown doesn't matter. Leopards 10 yards away do we from have likely a, a trip to Elkins. Old soccer coach, do we have a uh, field goal kicker? We got we can get him in the front like a PAT. We can get one. I think he's got the leg. I think he's got the leg. All right. I, I, I don't know if I would necessarily <laughs> want it to come down to that. I, I'd like to go ahead and punch it into the end zone. Yeah. But yes. I think we're going to see a lot of super deuce and, and, uh, and uh, three. Leopards come to the line, first and goal from the 10. Twins right, Janelle going to be the up back off the right. Dupree lines up in front of Simmons. He takes the snap, looking to run up the middle, lowers his shoulder. He's going to get down to, looks like, the seven. Yeah, they're going to give him, he sh I don't think they're going to give him the six and the seven. Call it second and goal from the seven. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's it's man up time. It's man on man now. Twins right for the Leopards. Janelle the left or the up back off the left. Dupree to the left of Simmons. Give is to Dupree up the middle, trying to move the pile. Yeah. Falls over the five yard line down to the four. Boy, there just wasn't a hole there. They just quite couldn't get the the uh, lumberjack linebacker out of the way. He picked up uh, two. It looks like so we're going to bring it up. It's going to be second or third and goal from the four. Yeah, we're bringing uh, Carter in, or uh, not Carter, Ethan Martin, and uh, said come back in. So we may be looking to. Uh, I bet it's a power run. Uh, yeah. You know, angles mess up high school kickers. Get the center of the field. That's seven seconds left on the play clock. Yeah. That is if they don't punch it in the end zone. Leopard's set. Simmons takes the snap, running off the left side. What? Illegal procedure. That's a killer. You can't do that. That's a kill. Yeah. yeah. You can't. No. That changes the you can't do that. And that's one of those instances you could use the timeout there as the play clock's rolling down, but then you run the risk of 
Yeah. Having to run a kicker on late if you don't get it. And I, and I think what, yeah, I think we we may have had, yeah, we've changed our offensive uh, lineup again too. So we ran some out there and I don't, uh, all right. We're going to have to hustle to the line again now, we can 15 still get, seconds. Yeah, we can still get it. All right. 10 seconds left here. 21 21 in overtime. There's the snap. Simmons looking to throw out towards Carroll. He's down. down. He's Touch got it. Down. The Leopards Leopard are going it. on. Wow. Semifinal bound Dylon Carradine. What a catch. What a play. What a what a absolutely marvelous victory to come into one of the toughest places in the state to play, take him to overtime, and win. This this you know, this is one for the ages, brother. I've been that, doing this 22 years, and this is this is. That one is for the, the most ages. fun I've ever had <laughs> calling a football game. Uh, Leopards never say die attitude. We are moving on to wow. the semifinals. Likely a date in Elkins yeah. next week with pa a spot in the state championship on the line, Ron. Pack your bags. We're going to Elkins. And, uh, gosh, I tell you what, it's such a good ball game. You really, you honestly hate to see somebody lose it. But, boy, if somebody's going to have to lose it, I I'm, I'm more for <laughs> The Lumberjacks losing it and then the Leopards. And, uh, gosh, make a short trip home, guys. Well, as always, we thank you for listening to us. We've loved bringing you this game. Fantastic. For Ron McNamara, I'm Seth Roberts. We'll see you next week in the semifinals, likely at Elkins. We'll see. As always, stay classy and have a great weekend. We missed you, Ben. <laughs>